Morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody today? Just seen Elle in the dressing room. She's like, oh, she was late and she was like, oh, I don't know what's going on and everything like that. And it was a bit better because yesterday the dressing room was absolutely packed with people yesterday. Uh, anyway, uh, should we do today's early bird? Here's the early bird. You know what the early bird is? We bring you something that sells perfectly well on its own and reduce the price. Only while stocks last or until midnight tonight. Thread magic, this one. Thread magic. It's like a modern day beeswax. Um, and it's fantastic for conditioning your thread. Look, 400% less hand fatigue, 400% less thread drag. Right. Okay, right. So, uh, the price we're about to go to, we've done before as an early bird, and they sold out in minutes. And I'm talking hundreds. Hundreds. It's just come back in stock and we're about to do the same thing again. I know it doesn't make any business sense. £9.99. £9.99. I know. Uh, now it's the Taylor Seville Thread Magic Square Cutter. Oh, look, here it is. So what I love, first of all, is that you can never lose your lid look because the lid's attached. Right? And what you do is you get your thread and you just pull it through, through the grooves on the side there. It conditions, stops knotting. Oh, actually, I'll, I'll tell you in a minute because we've got slides. Where's the cut? Oh, and there's a cutter on the bottom there, look. Thread cutter, I should have seen that. Thread cutter. 9.99. Beautiful, 9.99. Keep going through for that. Keep going through for that. What? So it's not, it's not, it's not over then. Thread magic. Okay, right. Look at this slide. Thread conditioner reduces friction when sewing. Helps reduce tangling and knotting. Protects against UV rays, mould and... Okay, now mould is spelt incorrectly. Yeah, that's the American way of writing mould, or it's the village in North Wales. And uh, what's underneath mould and mildew? Another slide. Thread cutter blade, apply this special formula to your thread to strengthen and prevent tangles and fraying. Thread magic will not melt, freeze, or leave behind a residue, and is safe for all threads, fabrics, and machines. Don't want to use beeswax, yeah, exactly. Then you can use thread magic conditions at conditioner and protectant with a thread cutter for $9.99. Keep going through, lots of you there. So you just come back in stock. And remember once you bought this, that's your PMP paid for for the day. So you might come in and buy a machine in the last hour and that's your PMP covered. You might come in and buy a calendar kit, it's your PMP covered. I'm looking over there because everything's on the thing. We have a price comparison. And now we've got a Roy, but it's not Roy. No. Oh, it is Roy. We're not selling Roy. Where's the price comparison? $12.99. $12.99. Oh, he's brought the wrong thing. Roy. The blue one. We want the blue one, not that one. $9.99. What was it that was coming up as the last thing last night? It was the blue panel, wasn't it? Yeah, he's brought the instructions, not the panel. 9 99 Keep going through, keep going through. It's today's early bird. Well, let me see about this. Half the stock's gone. Morning, John and team, says Julie Vaughan. Good morning, John and everyone. Have a great day, says Donna. Mari Grant says, good morning, best boy. Torrential rain all night in Islington. Loving the shirt. Cheryl says, quick hello before heading out for my lollipop shift. She doesn't mean eating one. Uh, Michaela Michaela, good morning from my lovely John. Claire says, good morning, John. Lovely shirt. Isabel. Yeah, Isabel, that was yesterday's show. Isabel was saying that the guest, she couldn't hear the guest. It's because Ian forgot to tell her she had to put her microphone on yesterday. 9.99. He won't be, he won't be watching, he'll be at the store. Is he at the stall today? I think he is, isn't he? Remember the NEC today? Yeah, he won't be out of bed yet. 
What time is it? Five past eight. Now it doesn't have to be there till nine. Morning, John, for quiet and calm. Barnold's wick, says Hillary. Quiet and calm. That's nice. My village was very, oh, very noisy with the wind. No, with the wind this morning. Wind and rain and two very wet cats on the bed. 9.99. No, they won't let me dry them. No, you see, Norman and Ellie used to come in and walk over and go, towel me dry now, towel me dry. These two don't like being towel dried. So they come in, they have some food, they go and get on the bed or they get on the sofa or they get on the big chair. But they've all, everything's got covers on it now, so it's all right. 9.99. But now Ghost has now got this thing where he wants to get in the bed. So in the middle of the night, I was woken up with him trying to nuzzle in under the duvet, drenched. No. 9.99. It's so funny because when they want something, right, they'll go for it. But if you go, come here, let's have a stroke. They're like, no, no. We decide. We decide when you can stroke us. 9.99. Keep going through. Lots of you there. Lots of you there. Sandra, good morning. Off to the dentist this morning. Oh, I am. I'm at the dentist next week, I think. Doreen says good morning. Graphics out. We haven't sold out. Keep going through. Keep going through. It's just got lots to do. Got lots and lots to do today. So, uh, let's have a look at today's menu. Here it is, we've got sewing room tools, and now at eight o'clock. <coughs> oh dear, my voice is going already, and I haven't even started yet. Nine o'clock, 2023 war calendar with Cara Ackerman. There's one of them. And then there's, oh, there's a close-up. Another close-up, then the other one. And there's the other one. And then there is a third one, a floral one, coming up as well. They're already selling already, just so you know, they're selling already. 10 o'clock, K-Facet Fabrics and more at 10 o'clock. More? More? At 10 o'clock. And then at 11 o'clock, we've got the folded star cushion with Cara. Now we've got it in a mulberry red. We've got it in a black and grey, very on trend, says Cara, black and grey. And we've also, well, we should have it in the blue, but Roy just didn't bring the blue one up. Hey, what? Yeah, I think Roy's at home, busy making it at the moment. Then at 12 o'clock, sewing machines now. I need to tell you something, right? In, oh, did we show the folded stuff? Sorry, I was busy moving around. Sorry, I was moving around. Um, you know the deals that finished at the end of October? I know, and I kept, didn't I keep saying to you, finishes, 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 finishes. Right, the big one with the 640s finished, but we have got still a, uh, 680, sorry, we've still got a bundle with that. But the 550, 560 and 570 still have got their £75 free gift with them. I know they shouldn't have. As soon as the, it's only because the management at, at, at um, Birmingham this week, you know, at the um, NEC, at the Crafty, 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 no, what's it called? Creative Crafting Show at the NEC, right? That they haven't taken off. So we can take advantage of that while they still haven't noticed that it um, hasn't been taken off yet. So now there are three ways you can get in touch. The first way is by email, studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. Uh, the second one, is by Facebook Live, which is the one I've been shouting out. Sandra said, oh, I've done that one. Laurie says, morning, John, love your shirt, have a lovely day. Stevie Jane, oh, hang on, uh, what house is this for a name? Stevie Jane L. Julie Smith says, good morning, what happy, good morning, John, lovely to watch your happy personality today. Jill says, good morning, John. I'm not happy to say, I've been in a grump this morning. Uh, Cara thought I was a bit miserable today. I don't know why, and Ellie's feeling a bit miserable as well. Maybe it's the moon or something like that. Yeah, we'll Google it in a minute. Uh, and then the third way is by going to the website, www.sayingstreet.com. There's Susan Briscoe with her blue hair. Uh, so you click on watch the show live. Then there's a white box on the right-hand side. You write a message in there, and they're the ones that come on my bottom later. Morning, John, looking gorgeous as always. Wait, on which John she's watching. Anyway, scroll down the page. And there will be two columns in a minute. One will be uh, show deals. That's everything we've done so far. This is everything that's coming up. So these are all your tools from the first hour. Tools. Tools. Back in stock. June Savvy. No, June. <laughs> she is very savvy. June Taylor starts Savvy. 16 ounce trigger spray bottle. Look at the price. That should be 13 99 I'm sorry. That should be 13 99 It's like Best Press. 
Uh, anyway, uh, look, zippity doo da. It's not zippity doo da, is it? I've said the wrong thing. Zippity doo done. Only a few of those. Uh, the fat quarterback, which I'm going to be starting with in a second. Magic seam wand. It's not called a magic stick, can it? It's a magic seam wand. Then went to Cara's first hour here. Well, hang on, there'll be panels in a minute. There. So there's your bumbly bees. Yeah, the Dowling is a little bit out of proportion on that one, Charlie. Is that the measurement of the stick? 55 by 9. Is that the measurement of the stick? How funny, they've just put that in. <laughs> so you've got the sewing room one, we've got the nature one, and we've got the bumbly bee one. And then we carry on there, we go cave. Cave, 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 uh, oh, why is there a zippity doo da in the cave hour? Lovely. Oh, now, look, that now. It's called, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. It says the Delphine Brooks Buddha tree panel. I designed that panel. Uh, that's the panel I designed for the Delphine Brooks Buddha. Yeah, it's fantastic. That. I love it. Look at all those squares you get. Five inch squares. Look, it's not funny. Anyway, carry it on. Folding star, there's a panel. You get all three and the instructions. That's a bundle. That's a good, well, if the blue one arrives. And then we've got them individually in the blue. Oh, hang on. The red, the black. Oh, the blue's not available on its own. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, no wonder Roy's confused. You can only get the blue one in the bundle. Oh. Does Cara know that? Oh. Anyway, carry on. Because there's those lovely new lamps. New... Oh, now... Oh, well, we'll see in a minute. Anyway. Oh, right. Now, stop, 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 stop. Yesterday... Oh, it sold out again. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, there was one not checked out from yesterday and we presumed we'd do it today, but it's sold out now. And then there were two. Right, now, you see these two gorgeous blankets here? Right, now, yesterday, there were way too many people had it in their basket, right? Four people didn't check out, right? So there's four available of the blue one and seven of the red one. We were oversubscribed yesterday and yet not everyone checked out. So if you want it today, come and get it. Sure, it's a lovely bundle there as well. That's just new bundle. Advent calendar. Advent calendar. You'll be opening them soon. So get yours delivered now. And then there was something else in this hour to show you. This is 12 o'clock. Sew machine bags. Sew machines. There's the six. That's the set of 578 with 649 pounds. You get a free walking foot, free motion foot. Now, it's really good because Cara is using the free motion foot in one hour and the walking foot in the other hour. Just a fluke, that, isn't it? It's like we thought it through. No. Oh, there's the Tony machine. We haven't got that in the studio. And then B fabrics for some reason. Uh, uh, Louise says, looking gorgeous as always. And Ellen says, good morning. Good morning. Right. Are we starting with this then? Fact. Oh, yeah. Hannah wants to know something. What today? Have I ever forgotten anybody's birthday? What are you trying to say now? Have I forgotten your birthday? 
Yeah, yeah. So for the calendar show, uh, uh, Hannah's asking if I've forgotten anything important. Not most of the time, I'm afraid. Right. This here is the most. This always sells out, right? This all. We've just got it back in stock. Eleven ninety nine. It's got the see-through top on the on the top there. Lovely big space to keep things in. But then it's got your little walls here that you can create your own segments within the bag. So if you've got lots of fabric to store, lots of fat quarters to store anything like that it's got pockets on the side there you can put little things in at the side there and then if you've got your fat quarters you see they can live beautifully in here like it's so organized and because it's got to see through top look because it's got to see through top you can see exactly what's in there the whole time really lovely shaping uh, re uh, uh, uh and now what um roxana does is she's put cardboard in the pockets at the side which keeps the sides uh, more um stable stable i know it's got a zip that goes all the way around here i mean don't have to keep fat quarters in it you can keep um half meters in it you can keep whatever you want in it or you can buy it as a project bag so if you've got a project on the go a quilt on the go put everything in there and then it's all there ready to go. It's brilliant, isn't it? £11.99. We'll get you that fat quarter bag. They always fly out. Christmas. Now we need to start thinking about Christmas presents for each other, don't we? Oh, we've got some Fifus. This is one of our most popular items. Here you go. Uh, great storage. Uh, so much so. I purchased another one, says Julia. People buy these in the, like 10 of these and 12 of these. One, two, one for ages, bought two and was going to gift one, but I've kept them both. <laughs> Need more? Get one now. Super bag, hold lots of fabric, says Helen in five, a month ago. So many, good strong bag, loads hold the fat quarters and clear top, let's see everything in the bag from Catherine in Belfast. How are you? Uh, these fat quarter storage bags are tremendous and do far more than their name implies. Oh, that's Derek. I haven't seen Derek for ages. I mean, we haven't sp spoken to Derek for ages. Uh, the bag is large, and I thought it was going to be excellent quality and delivered. In I thought it was going to be excellent quality and delivered in no time. Well, it, you know, it, obviously sometime. Good morning, John and team. Oh, this is Nafifu. Uh, looking forward to today. Uh, show love these storage bags from Georgina. Georgina, I think I've just put a letter in the post to you, haven't I? Uh, storage bags are fantastic. Back to. Oh, no, this isn't Fifu. Uh, fantastic for keeping finished quilt tops in. <coughs> as well as fabrics uh, bigger than a quarter. Own six, says Karen. She owns six. These are all messages for people watching now, not Fifus, right? I must have... Kirsty! I must have nearly 30 of these fat quarter storage bags. Love them, keeps me organised. William Morris in one, Kate in another. Excellent quality. They're all excellent quality. Thank you. Morning, John. I have four bags and ordered another one from Sue in Cornwall. Well, exactly, exactly. Everyone loves these fat quarter bags, don't they? Eleven ninety nine. Oh, the other Jan says good morning. June says morning. Torrential rain today. Poor Misty has come in like a drowned rat. Kerry, living in loveliness. Looking forward to seeing the NEC Christmas craft event. I'm there to work, Kerry. I'm not allowed to go swandering and swanning. I'm there to sell. No hugging, no kissing. But if they sent us a picture of the stall last night with arrows of where everything is, right? So they took, said to pick, I don't know who it was from, I've never heard the name of the person who sent the email. So it's a picture of the stand and it goes arrow storage, arrow till, arrow spare stock and things like that. And then there's this great big space at the end and they left, they've just left this big space. So that's why I'm gonna be standing giving, giving out hugs. Um, I'm coming for a hug and a kiss says, uh, oh, that's uh, Craig. Coming for a hug and a kiss. Oh, uh, morning, John. I've got four of these bags so far. They're brilliant, says Susan in Hampshire. And then, oh, one question. Hi, John. Would the comic board cards with fabric on fit in the storage bag? Oh, I don't know. Oh, of course they would, I imagine. Right, OK, let's have a look then. Thank you. Right, let's just fold a bit of fabric around it. Oh, how do I can't remember how to do it now. Let's fold some fabric around it. There you go. There you go. Right, there's a comic board with some fabric around it. Oh, oh, oh. No, not that way they wouldn't. But if you took one of these out. No, they'd have to fit in. Oh, there you go. But you'd have to take that. You'd have to take that out because it's slightly wider than the segment. What are you saying, Han? 
No, you uh, no, because that way is too tall. Yeah, definitely fresh shelf because it's a bit too high that way, isn't it? But good question. Oh, hang on. That's yours. That's mine. That's mine. Absolutely flying out as always. I'm just folding that one up. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> right, 11.99. Keep going through, keep going through. Make sure you check up. Oh, Craig's smiling. Drive in there now, she says. Heather's message in. Morning, John and team. Love these bags. Got three of them from Heather in Shropshire. You see, so many of these. Karen's got a question. Can a clear patch be put on the front as well? Would really help if you've got loads piled up. That is the front. I would say that is the front there, look. Oh, are you thinking along there? I wouldn't cut into them and put a, uh, put another window in, I don't think, no. I, yeah. But yeah, but if you pile them up that way, well, you're, you're piling up what the other way? Oh, you're piling them like that. So Hannah's piling them like that so you can see the fronts of all of them. You see, because look at the picture. That's how they, oh, there's the, <clears throat> now that's a bit of a, they've put a picture of a pink one on the front now. <coughs> got all the fat quarters they've got in theirs. 11 11 pounds and 99 pence. Keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. I'm looking forward to a kutch, John. That means uh, a hug in Welsh. Come and get one, Debs. They're only a pound. Now I have started my Movember. No, I've never grown a moustache before. I, I had a goatee many, many, many years ago when I was in the film industry, a little goatee like that. But I've never grown just a moustache and it's, I'm worried because it's going to be white, isn't it? Yeah, it might not grow. It might not even grow. Oh, and it's going to be, it, it's supposed to be just for the excitement. Lovely. Thank you everyone who has sponsored me so far. I only put it up because um, it's part of the Gemporia group, so we're all doing it. Ben's, producer Ben's doing it, Scott's doing it. Oh, no, no, I said that. It's, it's Hannah doing it yesterday and all day before and everyone shouted at me. Um, um, uh, Alan, who don't makes the videos, he's doing it. Uh, Munch is doing it. And then there's a man whose name I don't know doing it as well. Don't know which department he's in. Apparently he sits opposite Wayne. But I don't know. No, oh, the, the lights in here are getting really bad now, Charlie. Yeah, like proper, proper flashing. Yeah. Right, moving on. I'll leave that here because I might do that again later. That, oh, zippity doo duns. Oh, here we go, zippity doo duns. Now, Susie, uh, when I was at Festival of Quilts, right? Uh, Jill Rep was uh, had these on her stall, right? And everybody was going crazy for them. We got them in here, and Susie did a show with them. That we've got last of stock now. Last of stock. Uh, eight. They're all eighteen inches in length, and I'll show you what they are. If we can, we do the blue one first. Right here we go. So this is the blue one. So what it is? It's a zip, right? That's a normal zip here, right? But then if you don't like stitching really, really, really close to the edge, what you do is the fabric opens up like that and you can slide in, say you're making a bag out of this, you slide that in there, right? Put that in there like that. Fold that back over, there's one underneath as well. Fold that over like that, and you can either do a straight stitch here, a fancy stitch down the middle. I mean, Susie demoed these, didn't she? 24th of September. Oh, October, 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 sorry. October, last month. So now, I'm presuming you can cut these down then. It's 18 inches, but you can cut it down, can't you? No zipper foot required. Place the raw edge of the project between the folded layers of the casing on one side of the zippy doo dum. Pin to hold in place, stitch to all layers, staying close to the outer folded edge of casing. Repeat on other side. Uh, video instructions on June Taylor's website, figure one. There you go. Uh, how many have I got left, Shane? Nine left. 
Oh, oh well, you're, you're coming in for all of them. The blue one's got nine left, and that's the one I've got most of, apparently. Now. Graphics out. Keep going through for that. Oh, the red one, there's only two left. There's only two of the red one left. It's a lovely bright red, that one, isn't it? Tuck and sew your project into casing. No zipper foot required. It's like um, RuPaul's Drag Race, isn't it? Keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. Black one. I was in a different hour, wasn't it? Do you want the code? That'd be easier. I got it. Black one. Six black ones. Oh, yeah, that, that's the packaging. There's no pink on it. It's just a black, straightforward black zip. That's pink's on the packaging there. How many, how many do I have? Okay, you know the fat quarter bags. Third, oh, more than a third of the stock's gone. More than a third, like checked out, not just in baskets, checked out. I'll, I'll show it again later. Right, too many people got the zips in their um, back. Oh, now. Back in stock, right? Back in stock. Now, the first time I saw this was when Jill Rep brought it in. Oh, no, it was when we were at home quarter, wasn't it? And Jill Rep brought it in, right? It's called Starch Savvy, right? Now, first of all, I remember this being about £14, and that's years ago, when I very, very first met. Oh, here you go, here you go, right, okay. This is Long River, and same thing, exactly the same thing, 1745. I was going to say, I've seen it elsewhere for 13 99 I'm not saying everyone's 17 I, Oh, well, not 9 99 no, so I then said to Hannah, check the size of the bottle, because it could be that our bottle's smaller than that. How big's that bottle there? No, same size. Right, now what it is, it's like Best Press. If you're used to using Best Press, but sometimes the Best Press is brilliant. Don't get me wrong, Best Press is brilliant. But this, the more layers you put on, the more starch the fabric becomes. But this is made with potatoes, with potato starch. <coughs> now, I put, I've got my glasses on now. Do you know what? Earlier I picked up and I said to Hannah, oh, they've done some of this bottle. I can't read the thing. And she went, you haven't got your glasses on, John. Now, it contains, I don't know which of these are potato, but sod sodium polymethane cryolate, methochlorazite theozeolinione, and metholeozeonite PEG-12. I'm sure it just had potato in it when we first did it. Anyway, you literally spray your fabric with it, uh, and, and then um, you hold the bottle, 6 12 inch, 10 inches of the fabric, spray lightly and evenly. Allow the starch to soak in, right? Then you press at the recommended ironing temperature for the fabric you're doing. Spray it now. It doesn't flake and it doesn't, what's the other word they use? It's flake free and it's fragrance free, right? The only warning they give you is if you, put, if you get it on the floor, if you get it on tiles, it can make your tiles slippy. That's all. Right, what else did it say? Formulated for quilting cottons. Control the level of stiffness with a single or multiple application. Restores body to laundered fabrics, making cutting easier. Creates flatter seams. Improves feeding when machine sewing. And helps guy quilt glide over machine bed more easily. There is a video on the June Taylor website if you'd like to go and watch it. At 9.99... Yeah, yeah, we don't, we, oh, right, okay, we've never had this at Sewing Street, we've only had it at Sewing Quarter. Oh, sorry, I think you said we haven't had it. Oh, the only time we've had it here was with Jill Rep. And 200 bottles went that day. Just so you know, just warning you. If you've had it, let me know, let me know if you, if it's, if you love it. Morning John could do with a kutch. I have sciatica and it's making me grumpy. Oh, Judith. That's that one, isn't it? In your bottom and down your leg, sciatica. Well, I've got a slide to show you, apparently. Very, very interesting. Fragrance and flake-free formula, said that. Control the level of stiffness, said that. Stabilise fabric to avoid block distortion and create flatter seams. Restores body, Hannah. And then non-aerosol spray bottle with fine mist trigger. So it's no CFCs, whatever they're called, is it? Then if it's a, if it's a, you know, normal squirty thing rather than a spray can. 
which reminds me, I must buy some antiperspirant on the way home. 9.99. Don't use this now. Oh, no, because you end up like this, wouldn't you? Good morning. When you put what? When you put jeans on the line and they freeze? No. She loves that. It's like when you put... Oh, well, let's not go there. 9.99. Fern Britton's got a very funny uh, story when she went to the doctors, but I can't tell you. <laughs> Upper state in the morning. 9.99. Beautiful. Start savvy. And how many did you start with? Ooh, third of the stock's gone. Gorgeous. We'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. Yeah, yeah. Loads of you waiting for that to come back in. You might not be up yet, Hopper State. Now, another June Taylor. Now, is this... Is this the open one? Oh, no, there it is, there it is, there it is. This is the open one. You'll see Cara using this later, look. It is the June Taylor Magic Seam Wand. Right, and you're thinking, well, what on earth is it? Well, you know, like, a, the, 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 the rollers we get, you can, I'll show you, there's a picture there. You can press your seam open with it, right? But you can warm it up on the iron. So I was thinking, this iron's not switched on. This iron's not switched on. But I was thinking, if you've got this, may, look, you could slide under. Can you see that there? If you know you're going to use it, because this has got your legs on it, hasn't it? So you kind of, that goes on. You could warm it up. So while you're waiting for it to be used, then you can use it. Then slide it back under there to keep it warm. Well, I'll be in charge of keeping Kara's Cara, magic wand later, warm later. But I'm bound to do it wrong. Got a slide? Get perfectly pressed, comma, flattened seams with the magic seam wand. Use either the beveled or the flat edge to press seams. Wand may be heated by holding the beveled edge against a hot iron. Then press for a flat, flat seam. So there's your beveled edge. And there's your flat edge. 13.99. That's how it comes packaged. From June Taylor, made in America. You'll see Cara using that in the folded star hour. So that one's for Cara and that's the stop. I've got what, what? Oh, got the binding buddy ruler, which is this one here. Last of, uh, Susie's demoed this one. 24 99 So you can cut your strip of binding here. And you can also uh, do your mitered corners with it there. 7th of October, we did this one. Uh, quickly cuts bias or... Oh, yeah, the reason that's at the end there as well as doing mitre corners, if you're doing bias binding... So, here's your fabric, right? So, if you're doing quilt binding, you'd cut the fabric like this, wouldn't you? A lot across the width of the fabric. So, it's straight, right? But if you want to bias binding, look, you get your fabric and you put the, the edge one on the fold or on the edge of the fabric there. And then this here is a bias automatic bias strip so if you're making bias binding or cutting bias binding for your bias binding maker then you can just it, you just literally put this edge against the edge of the fabric and you've got your bias there there's something else it says as well two color printing for easy measuring hang on then so it's got black and see the black and the blue Is that for the half and the uh, no for the quarter and the three quarter maybe not sure what that means. Anyway, it's last to stock now. Till we get more in. But you know it takes ages and ages to get June Taylor stuff in because that's come from America. Right, yo. Cut and press. This is what we use every day. This one's in the wrapping so it doesn't get dirty. On this side, it's a pressing mat. 
right? But not only is it pressing that, you can also measure on it, you can do blocks on it, you can do... Now, you're thinking, oh, but it's fabric, it'll move. They've got uh, innovators or developers or whatever they're called at June Taylor. They've developed this. So what they do is they paint it and then they bake it in the oven and in the oven it shrinks and it shrinks down to exactly the one inch squares. So, and then after that, it won't move after that. Won't move after that. But then not only that, on the other side, it's a cutting board. Now this cutting board, also made by the developers, isn't a self-healing mat. What it is, is when you cut with your rotary cutter on this, it doesn't cut into the mat. It only cuts the fabric. So it means your blades last longer and you don't need to worry about uh, getting grooves or anything in your cutting mat because it doesn't cut the cutting mat. So for $49.99, ideal little um, thing to have on your table next to your sewing machine with your iron on it, ready to go. Rotary cutter, a, a rotary on one side, a cutting board on one side, with inches, with your angles, and then on the other side, you've got your, if you're blocking out a block or something, it's ideal, isn't it? What are you doing up there, making all that noise? She waits until I come on in, then she starts tidying up. That's taking all the boxes out. Anyway, 49.99. Oh, yes. What are you talking about me then? Fiskers, fab, uh, little fabric scissors. Yeah, 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 yeah. 14 99. Now, these are brilliant if you've got any dexterity issues. I don't need to open the package. See here, you've got a little lock on there, right? You just undo the lock, right? And the scissors open and they're spring loaded, right? So you don't have to put any pressure on them when you're cutting, right? And then when you finish with them, you put them away in the drawer. You just literally push the lock back up and they stay closed. Please be careful though. The tip is very, very, very sharp. But they're fantastic and they're really... Uh, I tell you, these, Alice and Mary and Mary and Alison uses these. Oh, now, if you're going to the NEC, she's there today. She's going to visit the NEC today. Or if you're in our warehouse today, she's at our warehouse today. Yeah. She sent a message earlier saying... Hang on, let me just find it. Morning, on our way with delivery to the warehouse and then on to the NEC. she got a show soon then. Is she on, on air soon? Oh... Anyway, these reduce hand fatigue. They're for precise cut. Got a lovely soft grip, grip handle there. 16 centimeters in size. And they're from Fiskars. And so you know they're a good make. 14.99. I've got what? Pins. Oh, wait a moment. Right, I've got the clover flower headed pins, first of all. These are lovely for when you're doing quilting or piecing and things like that. It's nice and long, but you can also see. Mandy Shaw uses these all the time. A 10 99 Get 100 in there. 100 pins in there. I've got patchwork pins. Fine. Now, I do, they're called patchwork, but I'd use these for dressmaking as well, these because they're lovely, fine ones. You get 100 in there. Now, these ones have got glass heads. Hang on, just check. Yeah, glass-headed, heat-resistant, glass-headed pins. Got a question, you say? Yeah. $8.99, $8.99. It's gone very cold in here. Cara's going to be freezing when she comes in. I'll switch the next doors off in a minute. Eight ninety nine. I have got fork pins. These are brilliant. These are because look, they're very, very sharp. But if you're trying to match, if you're putting um, patchwork together and you want to match seams and corners, these are brilliant because it's like a like a well a fork. Um, but you put them through. But also because they've got that bended, that kind of bent end, means you don't need to lift the fabric if you don't want to. So excellent if you're doing, um, you know, making a quilt sandwich or something. Eight ninety nine. You get thirty five of those there. You get the little box. All these have got little boxes that the pins live in as well. Keep them nice and fresh and sharp. Eight ninety nine. And then last but not least, I've got the applique pins or applique pins, as Charlie says. Tiny, these are teeny, teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny pins. Very sharp again. 
Uh, I tell you, he uses these a lot. Yvonne McAtamney uses these a lot. Six ninety nine. You can see there. You can just put them little little pins for applique. Won't buckle the fabric. Just won't get your thread caught on them. How many do I get? One hundred and fifty of those. One hundred and fifty of those for your six ninety nine. Beautiful. Next. Oh, oh. Yeah, now. Jenny Jackson used these for her EPP and she loves these. You get three, I'll show you the cards first. You get three on a card, right, for $7.99. What you do is the mag magnets are really, really strong. Look, there you go. Oh, I've only got nine left. I should have done the bottom one. I don't know how to get the... <laughs> this is how strong the magnets are. There you go, there you go, there. Look, there you go. So what it is, is you get a metal platey bit. You put your fabric between. So if, you, if you're holding anything in place, like your EPP, and then you put the one on top. That, look how strong that is, right? And then it holds fabric. Now, she put it through the, her card as well. It goes through card because these magnets are so strong. That's through two layers of fabric. Let's try it through four layers of fabric, see if it works. Oh, no problem. That's gone through four layers of fabric there. I'm getting a little bit overconfident now, I think. No, eight layers of fabric. Look, eight layers of fabric. You get three of those on a card and the way they come, you see, there's the three magnets on the back of the front bit and then your metal bit there. It's really, really strong magnets. She loved these, did Jenny Jackson. I've only got a limited amount of these now. Six left of these now. I can't get that one off there. Three, you get three in each packet for $7.99. Graphics out. Lovely. We can indeed. Lots of people coming in for the fat quarter bag. Right, half the stock's gone. Lots in baskets. Um, well, we always buy these by the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. Got loads of these. Eleven ninety nine for your fat quarter bag. Pop your fat quarters in like this. You can see them through the lid there. Oh, right, loads of people, right, most people have multi-bought, right? Loads of people got in the basket. We can't tell how many you've put in your basket until you check out. So some people might put three or four in, so please be careful. Please, please, please be careful. That's all I'm saying. Lovely. You don't get the fat quarters with it, obviously. Gorgeous, eleven ninety-nine. I've done starch savvy. Sorry? Oh Rachel. Right, well hang on. One, two, three. Do we normally get twenty in here? I've got it on the label here. Right, so that's twenty. Right, that's twenty. So that's forty. Right, and I think you'd get, an, I'd say, half of one, though. So 50, I'd say 150. I'd say about 150, thanks, Kat. 150, I'd say, you can get in there. But if you know different, let me know. So many of you, these bags would tell me, wouldn't you? Depends how much you want to cram them in, I suppose. Oh, that was a jump. Okay, you know I just said? Don't worry. Don't worry, we have hundreds of these, right? There's 20 left now. That's it, there's 20 left. Because people are checking out multiples, there's only 20 left now. I do apologize, I may have mizzled you. Yeah, some people are taking four, five bags each, you see. And when that happens, and, and yeah, you're allowed to, you're allowed to do that, right? You're allowed to do that, but it means that it's suddenly, like then, 20 people checked out, that was like 100 bags ago, you know what I mean? It's, that's how easy it is for it to jump. They're going very quickly. So how many have we got left now?
Yeah. 15 left now. Yeah, there's 15 left now. That's it. I'm f thank you. Message on the bottom. Hi, John. I've got seven of these. They're brilliant and are full of fabric. Have a great day from Alison in Leicestershire. Thank you. And you too, Alison. Go under the spare bed, would they? That's where Hannah would keep them, under the spare bed. Have you got a spare bed? Don't you have a futon in that room? Under your main bed? Oof. What's not under your main bed? Oh, it's not. Oh, she's got bigger versions for her winter and her summer clothes. Ha, uh, I'll read that one from Alison, yeah. 11 .99. Make sure you check out, check out, check out. Thank you. I've just bought two bags for me and my sewing friend from Rachel. Ah, Lovely. Spare blades. Calendar next, Lock the, there, there's the sewing, mm, there's the bee calendar, there's the sewing calendar. We've also got a floral calendar, which is one you're going to be seeing made. Right, rotary cutter blades, 45 millimetre. These are straight. Eight ninety nine. thank you, Hannah. You, you feel what? Like you're in Dynasty. Dynasty. I don't know what that word means. Oh, sinus. Sinusy, not Dynasty. She just said, I feel a bit sinusy today. And I thought she said, I'm in Dynasty today, John. Oh, and someone just got shot. I think Joan Collins just got shot. Uh, no, no, she didn't really. No, she didn't in the series I'm talking about. No, not really. Right, look, 45 millimetre. Let's go on, let's go on. We're trying to sell, we're trying to sell these. 8 99 She doesn't like me. Oh, she doesn't like me. 8 99 Lovely. Now, do you fancy like a uh, blade that does wavy like a pinking shears? In here, you get pinking wave and skip. One day we will do a demo on these. We haven't got time to do it this morning. Vix is going to do it for you, apparently. Well, no, I, we were going to do it this morning, but we just didn't have time to get ready for it. We had a busy morning. 9 99 for those. You get one wave, one pinking, and one skip. The skip ones are used more for paper when you're doing serrated edges of paper or perforations on paper. Yeah. Where was it? <laughs> Start savvy, back in stock. Yeah, I'm ready. Cat's ready. What's that from? I'm ready. Cat's ready. What show's that from? Oh, I have to think about that now. Anyway, 9.99. Oh, I watched um, British Show. No, not the same thing. The Bake Off last night. I was a bit, I won't say, I won't say in case you haven't watched it yet, but I was a bit shocked at who went. Because who was my guest just then? They said they'd watched it and I said I hadn't seen it yet. Was it Rebecca, 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 Bex Reed, right? I was shocked at who went. Nine ninety nine. Price comparison, if you want it, uh, you can buy. It's exactly now. Why does it say by the yard in there? Anyway, it's seventeen forty five. It's the same. No, it's the same size and everything. It just by the yard's a shop in Berwick Street in um, London. It sells fabric by the yard, next door to Borovix. Anyway, nine ninety nine. I don't know if it's still there. It's been years since I went. Keep going through for this, though. You starch savvy. Brilliant for starching. No flaking. No, no um, scent. Well, 
it doesn't say anywhere on it that it's made of potato so maybe they've changed that now but june definitely told me it was made of potato starch when we first did it 9.99 keep going through for that my mini iron ah. There it is. Mini iron. Right. So I'll do it this way. £28.99. £28.99. £28 .99. Now, you get the iron, but it also comes in its own little hard case. Now, if you go to the Long River, you can buy a hard case. That's not this hard case, but it's a very, very similar hard case for £16. Right? So that makes the iron £12.99. Oh, no, less than that. £16.99 case only it's not the same it's not the same but look it's almost isn't it right so you get that with this with the iron right so the iron the little jug you get a one and a half meter almost two meter cable there you've got your um where you put your water in you got your little windows say how much water's in there you can have steam on steam off this is your dial to do your temperature. The little red light there comes on when you plug it in, goes off when it's ready to iron. You've got a cable clip there, which I'm glad to see they've used when they put this away. You put your cable through there. There's your steam holes. And then you also get this really lovely handle, which has got this beautiful kind of soft silicon. Uh, so you can just, you can use it like that, you see really good to travel iron really good to have next door to you can have it next door was well, a neighbor yeah very quiet next door to your sewing machine <coughs> no but the uh, that that um he lost one of his uh, not samosas spring rolls didn't he susan i can't tell you too much because he gives it all away You know the fat quarter bag? Four left. Four left. And I bet there's hundreds of people got it in their basket. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. The early bird. There's less than 20 of those. Or fewer than 20, I should say. Thanks, Kat. Which is your, um, this one. Your thread magic. It's not a song. Good morning, John and team. I've got the little iron. I use it to transfer patterns. Oh, is it hot enough for the Mandy Shaw red work? Oh, brilliant. Oh, yeah, we have to crash that price because it was the early bird. Everyone pays $9.99. Oh, Pauline. Morning, John. Yes, I paid £16 for my prim iron case for my prim mini iron. Pauline, what can I say, doll? I love, oh, Rachel, which is your busy stay. I love the mini iron. Always take it on holiday too. That's not Rachel, Rachel, is it? Magnolia, Rachel. Is that in Wiltshire where she is? Oh, there you go. Crazy Lorraine's watching. Oh, hang on. It was Gladiators, John. Oh, Sandra, was it? Cat's ready. I'm ready. Is it? I never watched Gladiators. Oh, no, I tell a lie. I know a Gladiator. Only because, he won. He was, he was one of the people that they took, they did, he was like, they had competitions did, where the members of the public could become a gladiator. And he was Pierce Brosnan's stuntman for the one where the Bond film I did where he falls, he jumps down the Millennium Dome tent ceiling. What am I trying to say? What's the thing? The Millennium Dome, it's made like a canvas, isn't it? Uh, yeah, in the storms. Well, in the film, he jumps down and slides down the side that. And that was that. And um, I... Uh, I I, uh, the, the sub man was doing side photos and I said, oh, can I have one for my nephew? He's very, very, you know, he's very, very keen on you. And they said, oh yeah, what's his name? I said, his name's John. <laughs> so for years I had a side photo of this gladiator on my mantelpiece to John. Look. And the bird, yeah, but then I got to know him well, you see. Not unlike the one I got for Hannah, who was in love with Cush from um, EastEnders. And because my, uh, Bonnie's a friend of mine, who played his mum, in EastEnders, I got her to, so I got, I got him to sign a photo saying, to my fiance Hannah, lots of love from. Yeah, and then when he became a brain surgeon in Holby City, oh, heart surgeon, sorry, heart surgeon. 
Oh, and also, have you seen another friend of mine, Wendy? She's going to doctors this week. Yeah, she's going to doctors this week. Maybe you should go and be a doctor, Hannah, then. Because <coughs> you love everything like that. Lorraine loves my shirt. Oh, so, yeah. I'd, well, it's, I was watching that 24 hours in a &E the other day, and a man went in, and the nurse was like, what have you done? He said, I'll crush my finger. And he went, oh, sure, well, let's look at it then. And I was like, oh, that was a... And she opened it, and I was like, Bleh. And she was, like, prodding it, and all, oh, it was like, Bleh. But, she, you know, I suppose you have to love that. Our mate Andy was a gladiator, <coughs> says Ali. What, Andy that I met at the thing? He's a, a witch now, that one. He's a witch now. He's, no, I don't know what you call it. Not a gremlin. Is it a warlock? Oh, no, no, he might not be either of those. He, might, he wears long capes and has a cane. Anyway, he might not be the same person. 9.99. Okay, sorry, it went too long. We're gonna talk about it in a minute. Oh, cat's put it away already. <laughs> You're being a bit <laughs> eager. Oh, we haven't done these either. Oh, saving those for Cara's hour. Right, calico by the half metre, £2.79. Now, you will need a tiny square of calico for um, uh, Carla, Cara's second hour. Are you thinking of ballroom blitz by sweet? Are you ready, Steve? Uh-huh. Yeah, Jill, maybe. £2.79 for half metre. Of course, everyone's bought it in multiples. I'll show you how wide it is, look. Right. Right, loads of that in baskets. It's calico, brilliant for trois. Oh, sorry, go on. You say what you're going to say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's the end of the message. Right, so if you need calico for making toiles, for doing embroidery, the back of quilts, the back of cushions, uh, anything like that, it's the most fantastic fabric. It's lovely to work with, brilliant to dye, brilliant, excuse me, to make wearable toiles with and things like that. Now, what Hannah's trying to say is they bought in hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of meters of this. We have sold m not as much in a, it, oh, I'll be honest. They bought in 700 meters of it, right? In the past, we've sold 500 meters in a show. So what Hannah's saying is don't be blase, John, and go, oh, we've got 700 meters because it could possibly go in the show. Um, that's all right. I've just worked out what you were saying to him. Two pounds 79, half meter. Smells gorgeous. Now, it is pre-shrunk, but if you're going to make clothes out of it or dye anything with it, I would wash it first. £2.79 for half a metre. You see, 50 metres have gone already. And I've only just shown it to you, haven't I? Morning, says Gemma. We will bring it back in, uh, in um, Cara's hour. Can't remember her name today. Do what? Oh no, we're going for anything you want. All this on the all this on the um, website if you want to go and buy it. If I haven't done it, or if you want to see it later, I've got another hour. On, I've got two hours on my own. I can do it again later on if you want to see anything in particular. Don't go anywhere. Cara's up next. We're going to be making a 2023 calendar. We're going. We're going. But we're going. We're, we're all going. going. To the Creative Craft Show at the Birmingham MEC from Thursday the 3rd to Sunday the 6th of November. We'll be bringing goodie bags, a tombola, and a chance for you to meet your favourite guests and presenters across all channels. Not to mention the opportunity to shop and to be inspired by some of the best crafting brands around. And because we're going, you can get discounted tickets of up to 40% by using the code BIRMINGHAM40. And logging on to creativecraftshow.co.uk. So, come and meet the family. Between the 3rd and 6th of November at the Birmingham NEC. At the Creative Craft Show. See, See you there. there. Hello everyone, my name is Cara Ackerman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, 
then went down to Hampshire, and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those, I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance, and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles, so embroidery, cross-stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making, oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new, and I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it, and you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise. Um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace, the Queen's Garden Party, for some work that I did with Marie Curie. I was so, so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time. Um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you. So see you again soon. Bye bye. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. It's Munch in the building today. Munch is in charge of our jewellery maker sippy cups, right? And I was just sitting there drinking my ginger water then during the break and thought, something doesn't feel right. I've just, it's all, <laughs> it's just, I don't know where you even know where it came from. Mm -mm. I was drinking it, it was coming out through there anyway, so I do apologise. I don't think you can see it, can you? But you don't have to do a close up, it's fine. Right, Cara's here. Hello, Cara. Hello, John. Say hello to everyone. Hello, everybody. How are you all? <laughs> yes, she's had her hair done. <laughs> she came in this morning like, what have you had done? What's different? Anyway, it looks all lovely. All Botox and all that. Yeah, yeah, apart from all that. And the natural, youthful, what's it? Anyway. Would you like to make a calendar for 2023? This is a Sewing Notions one. This is what Cara's made for you. I'll show you the panel in a second, right? Right, I'll put, I'll put that away in a minute. But, quarter of the stock's gone already and a quarter of the stock in baskets, right? So what you actually get on your panel is <coughs> the calendar itself right then you get a piece of fabric the same size as the calendar for your backing and then you get all of these goodies to stitch on so you've got mannequins sewing machines irons tape measures threads thimbles buttons and little machines you could make a notebook cover a cushion anything out of that couldn't you so that there, it's, there's no instructions. There are no instructions. It's one of those, crea they call them creative panels, don't they? So you can do what you want with them. You can do what you want with them. But it's the 2023 calendar. 
Loads going into baskets. Loads and loads going into baskets. So I just want you to check on your phone for me, Hannah. It's the 1st of January on a Sunday. It will be winning because Christmas Day's on. What was that? Oh, we're going for a break. Oh, lovely. Uh, it's Christmas. Yeah, so I've got it right. That's fine. Then. Oh, no, of course not. I'm not here anyway. It doesn't matter. They've taken it off me now. Yeah. Yeah, they want me to go out and party on New Year's Eve, obviously. Ooh. Right, so that's 15. <laughs> no, they invited me to a party, but there you go. Uh, no, thanks. 15.99. 15.99. Right, now, the other one that Cara's already made is the Bumbly Bee one. Now, I know, I'm not going to say Bumblebee because everyone goes, John, they're not Bumblebees, they're honeybees or whatever. So I'm just going to say B. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you, you get your, piece, you get your stick of, and I'm not allowed to point. <laughs> you get your dowling with it. Now, on the picture, it looks vast, right? That's the, there it is, right? It even goes off the edge of the picture, look. <clears throat> this is the size of your dowling. Right, yep. Yeah. So, there's your, uh, your uh, calendar. There's your backing. Yeah, now, look, you see, if you make the front of that, get yourself some calico to put on the backing, and then you've got a really lovely big piece of fabric with bees on it. And then on that one, you've got the, the kelps. No, they're not called kelps, what are they called? What are those things the bees go in there? Hives. That's not a hive. Oh, sorry. No, this, oh, no this, it's not, is it? No, no, this is where if you've got a bee's nest and you get them and put them in there and transport them yes. safely. Yeah. I wasn't getting to you, Charlie said hive the no, same time. No, no. Right, then you've got your bee, then you've got your flower, then you've got your, oh, honeycomb. you got what? Hand luggage. Hand <laughs> luggage? I don't think so. <laughs> Fifteen. There's calico, you see, if you want to buy some calico, put um, half a metre. Oh no, you need more than half a metre of calico. Metre of calico. And you have some left over, obviously. Oh, they've called it beehive, actually. They've called it beehive. They're wrong, aren't they? It's called schlepp or klempel or something like that, isn't it? <laughs> it's called something like that. Somebody will tell us, I'm sure. It's what? Somebody will tell oh, us, I'm sure. They always do. And you get your dowling. <laughs> Message on my bottom. Uh, it's a skep. There you go. That's Skep. nearly right. Mrs. From Mrs. in South Yorkshire. Skep. Thank you, Mrs. in South Yorkshire. And what was it again? Skep. 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 I can remember that now. Oh! Oh, whoa. Well. <laughs> it's going horribly <laughs> wrong this one. Right, now the one you haven't seen, which I thought this one would be the most popular, right? I knew this would be a big, a busy hour, you see. So you get your calendar, you get. Look! How beautiful is that? And then you get your backing fabric. Now, I definitely want to use that for something else. I wouldn't want it to be on the back. And then you've got flowers and more flowers and more flowers and more flowers and more flowers. What are those big mountains of flowers? Are they um, lilacs? No. Yes. Are they? And bluebells. Bluebells? Yeah, there's some bluebells. Or hair, yeah, hair bells. Where's the bluebells on there? Oh, sorry. No, I'm looking at the... <laughs> <laughs> on the panel. Yeah, you mean on the actual drawing there's some blue bells. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there you go. Plus you get your dowling. <laughs> you don't need calico, but in case you want to make the backing in calico. It's my days when I was a teacher. And you used to point at the blackboard <laughs> like this. Like that. Yeah. Uh, and you had the blackboard that went like that. Yeah, I looked like those as well. Anyway, fifteen ninety nine. Buy a bad metre calico, then you can save the lovely fabric with the flowers on it for another project. <clears throat> oh, Louise on my bottom, what's she saying? Uh, hi, John and team. Suffering major post-COVID craft mojo loss. Aww. Watching you, I feel it returning. Uh, thank you, Lou in Wiltshire. Do you know what, Lou? Buy one of these, because it's a nice little easy project, it is. isn't it? And it'll ease you back into your, your sewing, uh, your love of sewing, I think. Right, so Cara, I'm not going to show anything else for now. Okay. Because I need you to get on, and then I'll, I, I'll inter interrupt you as you use things to yep. sell the stuff. Yep. Right. No problem. So what are we, what are we doing then? Okay. Um, this, as John says, is a very, very easy project. If you wanted to, you could just have it like this, make it into a panel, and it's fine. Yes. It's complete. Um, but what I, as normal, I like sort of embellishing and adding bits and pieces. Uh -huh. 
So um, I've cut out some of the um, flowers on this one and I'm going to, um, I put bondweb on the back. So did you put the bondweb on the back before you cut them out? Yes, so um, bondweb. Got bondweb? Little packet, little packet's enough, isn't it? Because you're not oh, doing gosh, major. Oh gosh, definitely, yet. definitely. I mean, if you bought, if you were buying these, these would make gorgeous presents, wouldn't they? Yeah. Really, really nice presents. I'll just show you how much you get in here, because we don't often show you in here. Because this is what preps. All of, there we go. It's a long strip. It's a me. It's one point two meters by seventeen and a half centimeters. <laughs> now, now you see, if Hannah had asked in prep for us to do this, I'd have been ready, wouldn't I? <laughs> Do you want a pair of scissors? I didn't question it because I know how big the piece is inside. Look, perfect for a project like this. That's how much bond web you get in there for your 2 99 Oh, we can get a pan of it now and everything. Ooh, or oh, cover up the strain on the shirt. Right, okay, so that's your bond web. So um, what's ideal is that the actual depth of the bond web is very similar to three rows of the flowers or two rows of the flowers. Uh -huh. So you can actually um, put it on the fabric, the panel that you've got and iron all of them on in one go. And then you'll cut roughly round them with the bond web still on the back. Then once you've pressed the bond web on, you will take a pair of scissors and very carefully go around the edge. You don't have to be too careful because um, you're going to be attaching this to the actual panel. Yeah. So for example, if I wanted to do um, this one, I would cut round the edge, and then I think this is a similar size, and just pop that on top, and it just gives a more three-dimensional effect. Right. And I'm going to do a little bit of um, free motion as well. So these panels are perfect if you like free motion or hand embroidery yeah. or quilting because um, on the panels that I've done, I've actually done a line of quilting around the edge right. of the actual calendar itself. But you don't have to do free motion, no, do you? Because it's, no, it's, it's do whatever you want. You could do a zigzag stitch, a blanket stitch, you do whatever you want yes, on it, can't you? Yes, yeah. But they sent me these gorgeous threads. Oh, did they indeed? Oh my gosh. I love metallic threads. Oh, they're threads. about to sell out. Oh. <laughs> Here you go. Glittery threads. Oh, that's not what they're called, is it? Uh, no. Metallic, metallic effect. effect. Yeah. Which are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And yeah. you can use those for hand embroidery as well as machine embroidery. And I was surprised actually how well it works on this machine. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, the um, machine. Yeah. Yeah. So I was going to have a go at doing a little bit of free motion with the metallic threads. But uh, if they're selling out, then what I can do is swap to a normal thread and show you how oh, to yeah, do it so under it's the totally up to you. So they, yeah. are, they are going to sell out. Now, yeah. the sewing machine, let me just explain this to you. This is a deal, which I'm going to be talking about in the 12 o'clock hour, which was supposed to finish on the 31st of October. And we told you they were going to finish on the 31st of October. Management knew they were finishing on the 31st of October. However, they haven't really taken them off the website. So we thought, well, if it's there, we're gonna still treat you to it. If you buy this machine today, now I can only say today, because who knows if they're gonna take it off at midnight tonight, you will get a free walking foot and a free free motion foot with these machines. It's the 550, the 560 and the 570. You will get a free one of those feet, two of those feet, you get two feet worth 75 pounds just for buying that machine. Just a gift will come with the machine from Elna. We'll talk more about it in the 12 o'clock hour. So Cara's gonna use the free motion foot in this hour and she's gonna use the walking foot in her second hour. So it's kind of very convenient oh, really, isn't it? Do you know, um, the other thing, I've got a lovely machine at home, a really, really nice Janome one. Um, but the Elna, I've got uh, one of those tiny, tiny little ones at home, which I love yeah. because it's light. And when I picked this one up to bring it in, yeah, oh, it was the same. It yeah. was just like, oh my gosh, this is so light. So it's easily transportable, which is fantastic. Really, really good. And, um, you know, for if it's your first machine or maybe you're just moving on to um, a lick a bit of free motion and things like that. This is ideal, absolutely right, yeah. ideal. So apparently, uh, someone's just messaging saying my, my microphone's not working. Apparently, it is. It is. Oh, hang on, we're just checking. I'm speaking now. 
Yeah, yeah, it's working, it's working, it's working. That's good. Sorry, David, somebody's messaged in saying, John, your mic clone's not switched on. It is, it is, it is. They might have just muted you. More than likely. <laughs> they must have got a telly with taste, taste, and when John Scott comes on, it just cuts the sound out. <laughs> That's all it is. Um, oh, yeah, either, either, very readily available. <laughs> Right, okay, okay. So. so so I'm not sure if we can get close in, um if we're able to get close yes, in with the course. camera. Do you want now, would you like to put them on your desk or would you like them to catch um, I don't camera? mind. I if Put it on okay. your desk, you think, oh, no, okay. come do this. That's just then it's... And then it's easier. Okay. The sewing one, first of all. Yeah. I'll get this one down, then you can show this one as well. Yeah. So I just wanted to show you. So um these two I've actually done with the polyester backing. Okay, I'll do, I'll do that in a minute, right? Um, and then the one I'm going to do um, today is actually with the H640. Yeah. Um, so both of these are done with the polyester craft um, backing. Wadding. Craft, craft wadding. Craft wadding. Yeah, which is and this here very quickly. This is what we're talking about here. Craft wadding, 8.99, two ounce. There you go. Okay, and then the one that you're about to, you're going to do with H640. When H640, we do that, we'll bring the H640 yes, in. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I just wanted to show you, I haven't done free motion embroidery for a little while, so what I always do is actually have a little go. Right. And um, also, I hadn't done free motion embroidery with the metallic threads, so what I wanted to do no, was just... No, because normally, a metallic thread, you wouldn't think of doing that because no. it, it, would, it snags and things. I know, it? I know. So I'm <clears throat> pretty sure it's going to be okay. I think the thing was, there's a few uh, little hints and tips if you've not worked with the metallic thread. Um, you can see some of them I started and the, the machine was on quite a, a fast speed, and that's when it sort of tangled and got caught and everything but then I slowed the speed down I made sure I changed my needle yeah um, if you have a metallic needle brilliant yeah if you don't then an embroidery needle for your machine or the jeans, jeans one needle, yeah. so I've put a jeans one in there because it's got a nice big eye yeah what you want to do is make sure that the thread actually it has an easy flow through the machine and with this particular machine I am um, just use the little Yes. Uh, spool holder yeah. rather than the big one. Well, then, you know, they, they, you should always use the size spool holder that the thread is. So that's why you get oh. different sizes. So if you've got a big spool, you use the big one, yeah. but you shouldn't use the big one on the Gooseman yes. size ones because yes. you need to use the smaller one, which is why when you buy that Elm, that you get all the different sizes. Yes, there. which is lovely. So yeah. it, this means that hopefully, I've, I've done yeah. a little bit in the, in the um, prep room. Um, it won't snag or anything like that. Haven't changed anything else on the machine. I've gone with a white um, spool underneath. Yeah, yeah, you don't put metallic underneath. You only put no, the metallic no, no, on no. the top. No, yeah. uh, but it, no, but nothing special. So no, it's just no. a polyester yeah, yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Um, so as I say, I like actually having a go on a scrap of fabric. And have you dropped your feed dogs as well? Drop my feed dogs, yeah. which is just at the back here. Yeah. Some of the machines have them at the side. Mm -hmm. And this one's got the um, free motion foot as well, yeah, which, which is, is the one fantastic. you get for free uh, on it. Right, yeah. I just need to stop you there because yeah. I need to talk about stock. The sewing one. Okay, well over half's gone. Which, so how many would that leave? 18. Eight, right, once you all checked out, there's only 18 of those left, right? There's hundreds of those gone, right? There's only 18 of those left if once you've all checked out, right? That's the sewing one. Sorry, Cara, I just no, don't want people to... No, it's no problem. Um, I will the B one. Right, a third of the stock has gone. Right, so a third's actually physically checked out, and then a quarter of them are in baskets that haven't yet to be, che uh, yet to be checked out. Right, that's the bumble or the B one, the B one, that one. And then the floral one that Cara's about to work on. Yeah, we haven't really seen this one yet because we haven't made it up. Of course, the stock's gone, but we just wanted to warn you that so many people got it in their baskets, hundreds in baskets. Let me just show it to you again. So there's your actual calendar panel. There's your backing fabric. And there's all your bits and bobs to cut out and to stitch on. 
I mean, you don't have to, because it's already it's already decorated. If you don't want to, you can just put the back and the front together with some wadding in the middle, do a bit of quilting, and it's done then, isn't it? Definitely, definitely. A lovely, easy project. As you say, for that lady who was trying to find her craft mojo, yeah. this is a perfect project, because it won't take you long to do. No. And you've got a lovely sort of gift. Or and you do get the doweling yeah. in each one. That's going to be interesting how they're going to pack that, isn't it? I know. I think you'd roll it, I would think. Well, I don't I know, because that and that's going to be in the same packet, aren't they? Yeah. Anyway, let me know when you get <laughs> it, how it has arrived. Right, sorry, Carl, I didn't mean to interrupt. That's okay. Right. So um, I um, just did the sample. I also used Stitch and Tear, which I know is on the um, website. So I used Stitch and Tear just as a stabiliser. Right, I just okay. found it easier to actually do the free motion embroidery with something on the back. Um, so I use Stitch and Tear for these ones where I've used the polyester wadding. Um, but for the um, H640 one, you don't need to put anything behind okay, that brilliant. one because you have already adhered that. So yeah. it gives a nice um, surface to stitch. With the B one, what I did want to sort of show, if I can, if yeah. you can get in close, um, is the B here. Oh, he's coming in now. <laughs> Do you want me to move it? Lovely. So um, I didn't actually adhere all the wings. So they are looking like the bee is flying around. So did you uh, zigzag anything around the edge of the wing? No, or just leave it's, to got, it's got the edge, um, it's got the bond, bond web. web on it. The only thing that I would say is if you press it, you may want to put, I've got a silicone mat. I just popped the silicone mat behind it. Right. So it didn't actually adhere to the fabric. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. Um, then I just wanted to show you um, up here. So this was the um, kelp, no, scalp. Skep. Skelp, skep, skep. skep. Um, so this is the skep, and I used the silver around the outside, and then the gold for the door. And um, you can just get carried away. You know, I was thinking, oh, I could put a bead on there. I could put, you know, French knots in the centre there. I could do hand embroidery. Um, this is the free motion again. So you know, depending on what you're interested yes, in, exactly. um, you can get really, really carried away. And what I love about it, I love the idea that don't use the pretty fabric on the back. No, well, if it's going against the wall. I know. Um, so you've got that. But also, if you've got um, some calico or I've just got this lovely cream fabric, you can use some of the motifs and arrange them on this and make a cushion. Oh, yeah. Well, if we get time, once we finish, we get time, yes. we might do that. Yes. Then afterwards. Yeah. So, um, and that's again with the H640. Yeah, there's loads so, on the panel because you're not going to use all of those no. extra motifs for your calendar, are no, you? Right no, no. And also, well, you've done a, um, uh, what's it called on the back? Uh, a sleeve on the yes, back. To, yes, um, to, to a sleeve it. to hang it. Um, this one, if um, Charlie can come in close again. Oh, yeah, come in, Charlie. <laughs> um, I've got the sewing machine and I've used the black metallic thread around there and that is just gorgeous because it's got lots of different colours in it but then I used the silver for the handle and for the front of the old-fashioned machine and again um, if I had more time I would have done sort of little um, lazy daisy stitches sort of uh, for the flowers there the buttons I just went round and then machined that and then this spool here I used the gold around the end of the spool and then used some of the green to give the effect of um, you know the thread and everything yeah. you could do the same here use the silver here and then use the green I just you know I thought I could just get carried away here but yeah, I Fiona says she's going to do some trapunto on hers oh nice very uh, very nice uh, Lo says good morning and June says I can hear you loud and clear <laughs> so you've not blocked me off your telly then June <laughs> right so um, what I'll do is I'll actually just oh lay um, some of these the flower. oh thank you <laughs> so um, what you can do is actually make the flowers more three-dimensional uh -huh. by adding them on top mm -hmm. um, and in fact what I will do is move this over uh, have we got a little oh, got a out there. what do you need oh, it's you all right. You're no, right. that's fine I'm just going oh, to oh she's going with the wool mat yeah yeah I don't think we've got any wool mats left in stock at the moment it's just to put the um, the iron, the iron on. on yeah so i'm just going to actually move that over i've already put the h640 on the back oh h640 oh i can't show you any h640 because carl's cut it up um have i got a little bit here yeah yeah one piece so this is one piece that's what you got left from one piece yes. look so you still look 
Is this the 90 by a meter piece, this one? Yeah, one meter by 90 centimeters. That's with Cara's cut already out. So that's what she's got left. But you'll get a full piece. Obviously, you don't get Cara's leftovers. <laughs> and you, uh, you haven't used stitch and tear with this one. You've just no. literally ironed this to the back yeah. of the panel. Yeah. yeah. So what I was going to do was just put a couple of flowers. And what I liked was, um, you know, that's it without the flowers. But actually, you could add flowers in here. Yeah. In between, which I thought was quite pretty. Some of the flowers will match what you've already got there. But if you want to, you can actually add more flowers. So you could go over the edge yeah. there. Um, I'm not going to use all of them because um, I want to use some for a cushion oh, yeah, or good something good later. Yeah. Um, so this is another That's one. That's such a lovely colour, that panel, isn't it? I know. It's beautiful. So restful. Yes. So restful. Yeah, now, was it Elizabeth Taylor that used to have to have her dressing rooms? When she did a show in the West End, she had to have her dressing room painted that colour. Did she? Yeah, when she came to do Little Foxes in the West End. I remember oh they painted, gosh. had to paint her whole dressing room. Really? That colour, because she liked it calm and serene. Nice. Well, it is. It's lovely. Mm. And can you imagine this actually on a bedroom wall? wall you know as a hanging so it's it's a feature and I don't know about everybody else but at the moment um I work sort of during the week and at weekends and things like that and I think oh gosh what day is it today yeah 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 and you know I've got everything on my phone but it's so nice to actually look at something and think oh yes you know it is the it's but just <laughs> have it in your in the family room in the kitchen wherever yes. you all sit and everything when yes. you 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 can work things out, especially if you've got a family and you're going, who's doing this, when, what, when are we going on holiday and things like that. You can just sit yeah, and... what day but, is that? Yeah, yeah, anything? exactly. And it's just a lot... Well, it's like I just said, what day's New Year's Day? Do you know what I mean? It's kind of... It, but it's also, rather than just having a paper calendar on the yeah. wall, it's nice to have all the kind of colours and the flowers it, or the sewing room yeah, or whatever, it's isn't it? A, you know, a piece of art, really, yeah, isn't exactly. it? So what I'm going to do, I'm just um, going to layer up a few of the flowers there. Um, Personally, myself, I would actually, you know, lay some of these up and just try to sort of maybe because you've got so many, yeah. I didn't I didn't cut them all out. But, you know, if you wanted to, you can add more around. Oh, yeah, um, exactly. So exactly. what I wanted or, to do, uh, like you said, you've got a spare bit of stash fabric to make a cushion to go with it. You know, so if that's above the sofa in the like kind of sitting area, you could just have the, a, a cushion to match. Definitely. Um, would you iron them on? Would you iron the H640 on first or would you iron the flowers onto the fabric before you ironed it onto the H640? I actually do the H640, then I use a silicon mat. Oh, okay. And then um, I've taken the back of the bonder web off. Yeah. So I'm actually just going to, I've only put one, I have to make sure that I iron all of them yeah. on. Have we got the silicon mats on the website? Cousin Susan says, morning John and Cara. Good morning, Cousin Susan. Morning, cousin Susan. She's not, my, she's not my cousin. She's just called cousin Susan. <laughs> Lovely. So I'm just going to, um, with the silicon mat, it just means that you can actually um, have the heat on there a little bit longer. Yes. Uh, without sort of scorching the fabric or yeah. anything. And if you've got the H640 behind, it just means that you can actually adhere the fabric yeah. to it. So let's just do these. Is that one of our applique mats that you've got to take um, your own? It's um, my own, but okay. it, I'm needing to replace. Oh, no, no, I didn't mean if you sold it. <laughs> yeah. I just meant, it basically, uh, we're just putting the, the one in now, because um, the one we used to sell was 15 99 Then we got this new one, and it's only, is it about 6 99 now? Thank you. There you go, there it is. Lovely. Yeah, I mean, I've used this over and over again. You can oh, yeah, it's see. Oh, yeah, it's not a one-use thing. You just use it yeah, over and over and over it's again. It's been fantastic, but, um, you know, it is beginning to... I've, I've got rips in mine, and yeah. I don't know how I manage that. Right, OK, so I've put some of those flowers on. Just make sure I haven't put any on that are going to go flying if yeah. I move it. That's a lovely iron as well. Yeah, exactly. I think we've only got about five of those left in stock, the Aliso irons. Right, let's move that out of the way. Okay, um, I'll just mention about the stitch and tear, yeah. although I'm not using it on here. 
um, I would actually cut a piece of stitch and tear and actually just pop it behind there right. and um, put some pins. And in so fact, hang on, is this if we're not using the craft wadding? Uh, if we are using the craft yes. wadding, not if we're using 8640. Yeah, just uh, stitch and tear is a stabiliser you just literally put behind where it just gives it an extra layer. So when you're stitching, um, you're not just going through the one or the two layers of fabric, you've got a bit of stabilising behind, and then you can tear it away afterwards. Yeah, and I find, I don't know about anybody else, but I found these essential. And these are um, the tweezers that I have from my overlocker. Oh, okay. Um, so when you are picking the um, stitch and tear out, these are really, really good. Yeah. Um, the other thing that I find really useful for free motion embroidery are the little gloves mm -hmm. as well, but I'm sure you might have those on the website. On the website, as well. yes, yeah. exactly. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just a little bit of free motion here. I threaded the machine up with the silver, so right. I'm just going to see how it goes. Okay. <laughs> We've started, I'm presuming our, our metallic threads have sold out, haven't they? Yeah. So um, what you'll do to pre prepare your machine and prepare this machine is um, if you've got a slightly different one um, for doing free motion, I would read the um, manual. Right. Um, but for this particular machine, um, you thread your um, machine up normally. Um, you attach the um, free motion foot and that's just attached with a screw here. Which get free with the deal at the moment. And I've, as I say, just got a normal polyester um, thread underneath. Uh -huh. And you want your thread to come out um, underneath the actual foot itself, okay? Right. And when you attach your free motion, there's a little lever that needs to go above, um, I don't know what the technical term is, the above the... Um, <laughs> so it's actually um, moving the oh, okay. um, free motion yeah. foot up and down. Um, you drop your feed dogs, which is are these lovely ridges here, and it means that you're going to be in control of how the fabric goes. Yeah, because the feed dogs normally feed the fabric through in a straight line yeah. as you need it from underneath, whereas if you drop them down, there's nothing to move the fabric through, so you're physically going to move the fabric. So what then I do, this is my scrap of fabric. Yeah. I'm just going to pop the lever down, which um, brings the foot closer to the actual fabric. But doesn't press it down it like it does a normal completely. foot. And then um, I always do a little bit, even though I've done this um, back in the prep room, yeah. um, pop my needle down into the fabric and you can do that um, manually. And as you turn your handle, can you see the foot moves up and down? Yeah. Okay. Um, so I would actually decide where I want to start and then I'd drop the needle into, and you want to keep it like that. So when you're actually doing your free motion, when you take your foot off the pedal, the needle's actually in the fabric yeah. and it doesn't move. Would you, if you were doing a big piece like the calendar itself, would you put your extension table on? If I had one, yes. Oh yes, okay, <laughs> the extension table. Is, does the extension table come with this? Yeah. Does it? Oh yes, 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 wow. yes, yes. Wow, yeah. I haven't yeah, got an extension table. Um, and then you're going to actually move your fabric around, mm -hmm. which is slightly different. So um, I'm just going to do a couple of stitches. Uh -huh. And can you see that I've put the speed of the machine is quite steady. My foot is flat. Yeah. So the, um, I wouldn't go much faster than that um, because that's when the metallic thread could Um, snag. The other thing that I wouldn't do, right, you bring a needle up, you lift your lever up and you pull your fabric out. Right. And what I wouldn't do is use an automatic cutter. Right. Just in case there's a tension on the thread there. But you can see that's how nicely that metallic Hang on, we're thread. just coming in on that. Yeah. There you go, there you go. Just here. Yeah. That's how nicely that metallic thread works, uh -huh. okay? So no adjustments or anything like that, but th those are little hints and tips about it. Okay. Ooh, thank you. Wow, I can't believe that that comes with it as well. Oh, okay. Now elsewhere, they say that's the free gift. Hang on, I can't get that to go on properly. Just come free as standard from here. There we go. And it's got the little legs that you just pull down. Like Charlie's legs. 
Okay. I don't know why that's not. It that does fit normally. That I don't know if you um, This that feels like there's something on the table. In no, the actually they're adjustable. Oh, okay. Is that what it so, is? So. Um, oh yeah, someone's uh, had screwed one out further than yeah. the others. That's it. I don't know which way it goes that way, I think. Like your wine fridge. Do it like you do your wine fridge at home. I don't drink. Neither do I. No. I've just... still got a wine fridge, though. <laughs> I haven't got a wine fridge. Anyway, you'll adjust that. Oh, yeah, there you go. I can see that. That's until that's yeah. much, much better, yeah. isn't it? Um, but this is nice. Yeah, so that comes with it. That and a hard cover automatically yep. come with the machine. So I'm going to actually just have a little go with these little flowers here. And I'm going to start in the center and I'm going to use the manual side just to pop my needle near and then I'll do a couple of stitches um, in there. Remember to put your foot down. Yeah, uh, I always put my foot down, Carl. <laughs> I bet now. you do. What, when you're driving? <laughs> no, no, when I'm in here. Um, um, Lynn, Lynn says, uh, morning John and Cara and all the team watching whilst getting ready and putting on the poly filler ready to go for my Covid jab. Oh, nobody oh. be looking what you look like in there. Um, so I've just gone round the flower there. I can do some of the little marks on the petals. Yeah. And when there, it's this little flower, I'm actually just going to go once round the petals. Um, but quite often with the bigger flowers, you would go twice round them. Yeah. And this is just lovely. You just see the sparkle. I'm going to just cut that out of the way. Oops. Oh, hang on. Morning, Cara. Please could you advise me the best way to clean the applique mat from Heather? Oh, um, I've tried a few times to just do it with some greaseproof paper and a hot iron. Right. And, and it just do lifts it, it off. Yeah, it should do. Um, but it's just for the cost. I'm going to just get another one. Yeah, yeah, six ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's like if you drop um, wax on your clothes, yes. isn't it? You just put brown paper down and iron over the brown paper, and it lifts the wax out of your clothes. So tip I'm there. just going to do some of the. Um, oops. So the other thing that you can do is in the centre, you can just go round and round and round. Oh, doesn't this machine work well with yeah, this? Yeah, it's a love, the 578 is a love, if it's I didn't lovely. have my 680, I'd get one of those definitely. Well, like I say, because it's nice and um, light as well, that's really good. So as I say, I'm just going to pull that out. And this hasn't snagged the thread or anything at all. Which is good because, uh, on the whole, metallic threads are known for snagging. They, aren't they? are. Yeah. Oh, nearly lost all my flowers. Let me move those out of the way. So, if Charlie can get down close. Come on, Charlie. <laughs> Too slow. No, not at all. So that's the. Um, it's his little legs, you see. <laughs> that's the flower there. So yeah. I do that for a, a number of the lighter flowers. What I will do is I'll do the bigger flower yeah. as well and just show you how easy it is. Yeah. So you could change your um, thread. Yeah. I am going to move those because they You're are going to lose get them all, everywhere. Yeah. I tried not to use too many of these so I can use them on the yeah. plain fabric as well. Let's move that out of the way. Okay, so on the bigger flower. Yeah. So you can use this for all this technique and everything for all of the actual um, panels themselves. Yeah. So I've put my foot down. I'm just going to manually get the needle roughly above where I want to start stitching. Pop the needle in. Just got the Press it for them. Right. So there's a lovely pink in that um, set, but you can use your normal um, polyester thread. Yeah. You don't oh, yeah, have definitely. to use the metallic. So we're just doing a few little veins on the leaves, then coming over to the next one. And you can see how actually having the gloves helps you with 
Steering. Gloves. We got gloves. We can do gloves. We've only got one size, I think, though. Medium slash large. Just going to get rid of that. Hannah's on one today. Oh dear, right, I can so hear her. Cara hasn't got her gloves on the wrong way around. They've got bobbles on both sides. <laughs> and Charlie looks like a Lego man. Okay. Is that? It's because she'd finished her breakfast by the time we'd done the first prep this morning at 10 past six. She was in very early this morning because handsome Adam gave her a lift in this morning. So she has it. Extra time on her hands. I love free motion. You can just get completely carried away with it. So I'm not going to complete the whole flower. No, but we need to know how to make the rest of it. Yes. Well. Okay. You'll see I've done half of the flower there. Yeah. And I would normally go round a bigger flower twice. Right, the flowers and the bees are now level pegging. In the lead, you mean? Oh, sewing room's still in the lead, but the other two are now level pegging. Charlie, you close up on that? Yeah, well done. So you can see this part I've actually done with the veins on the petals. I would normally put um, maybe some French knots or something in the centre. Mm. You can do that there, but you can see where I've gone round. Or some seed beads. Oh, yes, nice, definitely, definitely. Um, and I would do the same with some of these. I would actually, um, you know, maybe do some French knots on these ones here. Um, so you, you can make it as detailed as you like or yeah, as simple as exactly. you like. Exactly. Um, so to actually finish it off, do you want me to just talk you through talk, that? Talk me through that, yeah, yeah please. Yeah. Okay. Um, so when you're cutting out the actual panel, um, you will have some lengths of cotton fabric left like this so these were round the edge don't, oh, okay. right, don't okay. get oh, rid of them for your, for your, um, yeah for your um yeah i want to call it a tunnel that's not what i mean is it chat uh what's it called hanger yeah but it's got a name hasn't it it has not a hanging tunnel no <laughs> it's not a channel oh uh, honestly what's wrong with us all this morning i don't know what do we call it that goes on the back of a quilt everyone message in <laughs> So what's lovely is that those are the width of your fabric. Oh yeah, of course. Okay, um, but what you want is your um, hanging channel, channel, tunnel. Yeah, whatever, whatever. <laughs> no, I'm not saying whatever to you. I'm just saying whatever. Why can't we? Why can't we remember it? The word. Yeah. So, anyway, yeah. Turn yeah, the ends in. Turn the ends in. If you've got some lilac fabric that's fine if you're doing calico on the back or white on the back you can use the same yeah. color and everything but this was just easier to um do like this so what we're going to do is well, actually also it just... means you haven't got to spend any more money if yeah. because of the, the, the spare fabric around the edge that you can do with this bit so you're going to just fold that over and stitch i won't have time to do the yeah, stitching because no, i want to show you the um cushion as yeah. well So fold that over like that and stitch it. And then you'll see that that is, I still can't get used to just leaving my iron <laughs> like that, is narrower than the actual hanging. So right. the doweling will actually poke out either side. Brilliant. Um, so then you'll fold this in half like that. There's no instructions for this, so no. you can do what you want. If you want to do tabs, you can do tab sleeve, says Ellen. It's a sleeve. That's it. Of course it is. Pop that over like that. Then I haven't got another piece of fabric, so I'm going to use this one. So oh, yeah, this yeah. is the back of the fabric and it uh -huh. is directional. So um, just make sure it's going in the right direction. This is the top of the actual um, hanging. Right. Oh. What do you need? Friction pen. Here. Thank you. <laughs> Friction pen. <laughs> Green. So Hannah. just fold that in half. Yeah. 
make a little mark. This will all come out, obviously. And then fold the back of your lining or back of the panel in half and make a little mark. So I'm going to talk you through this mm -hmm. rather than actually spend too much time doing it. Match the two and you'll see that we've still got about an inch or so. Remember, you've got a quarter of an inch seam allowance, yeah. so that will uh, allow the doweling to go either end. And do you know what I used to soften the end of the doweling? I couldn't get into the garage to get the sandpaper. Right. I used a pencil sharpener. What? On the end of the doweling to make it. So if you have to cut them to any length, I actually right. used a pencil sharpener to, and also it helps go through the channel of the, um, oh. yeah. Also good if you want to prod something <laughs> with it. Were we you... don't condone that. <laughs> Were you like that at school? No, I was very <laughs> good at school. Of course not, of course no. not. So um, with a long stitch, you'll machine within your quarter of an inch just to hold that in position. Then you'll put the right side of your panel, again, making sure that it's the right way up. Pop that over the top, pin, and then your machine across there and down the two sides and then at the bottom you'll leave space for turning yeah okay turn it all the way through and then if i grab this one yeah yeah i then um top stitched all the way round and if you wanted to you could put some weights or something in the the bottom so mm -hmm. it hangs a bit better but i top stitched all the way round and across the top and then that left the channel for sleeve sleeve for your doweling don't want to move those no that's fine right. that's fine so that will um allow the sleeve for yes. your doweling okay lovely um and, and then did you, did you say you quilted some of them um yes so after you've um attached everything um i just did some top stitching or quilting around the edge i just stopped and started before and after um oh, the icons, you know some yeah. of the icons yeah. yeah so that i wasn't actually going all the way around right. like that but it just gives it a nice sort of finish to it yeah so, definitely yeah but it's a lovely quick project all right then or um as complicated as you want it to be let me recap these because Carl, what, Carl, what we were saying earlier in prep this, uh, this morning, we said there's so many extra things. Well, I'll show you. Let me recap the bundle. So I'll do the sewing room first. Uh, Kath called in and asked us to let John know it's called a sleeve. Oh, Patricia's in the call centre. Thank Bless you. Him. Thank you. Thank you, Kath and Patricia. Right. So this is the sewing one. There's your calendar. Oh, hang on. There, now, you see, they've, they've put this fabric on to put on the back of it, but if it's going to be hanging on a wall. Don't waste that fabric. Buy some calico or use some of your stash. And then you've got that lovely piece of fabric to make something else out of. And it's the lovely um, cotton. It's the lovely cotton that we used for the um, my doorstop and things like that. And then you see all of these on the end here. You'll never put all of those onto your calendar. So you can have lots of those left over. So Carl's going to show you an idea of what to use those up, of use, how to use those up in a second. So for your 15 no, you get your panel and your doweling. I'd love to see them push that through somebody's letterbox. <laughs> anyway, so that's the sewing room one. I'll put that there. That's the sewing. More, oh, more people in baskets and we've got stock off so you can have that one, Cat. Thank you. Right, then uh, Bumblebee or Bee. There you go, so again, there's your calendar. There's your lovely fabric from the back. And then all of, actually, do you know what? Well, I'll, I'll talk about it in a minute. Then you've got this, you see as well. All of your lovely bees and your flowers and everything like that. How are we for stock of those then? Okay, very few of those left now. Very few, like about, 10% of what we started with those left. And then we've got the hedge row, it's called. It's in second place, this one, I'm not surprised. There's your calendar. There's your backing. And there's all your flowers that you can stitch on. 
Now, what I was about to say was, if you use Calico for the back of this, right, you could then use this for the basis of the back of your cushion. Yes. That you're gonna make. So if you've got like a half meter of cream fabric or something, or even, I love calico cushions, so you get some calico, um, and you could do what Cara's about to do now with all the extra bits that you've got left over. We'll run through the calico. I've not got it here, but we'll run through the calico. Oh, now, remember I said about the calico, 200 have gone now. 200 have gone already. It's here, £2.79 for half a metre. It's lovely and wide. You see, I love calico. We use calico for everything. Oh, I absolutely love with. it. Is it a pre-shrunk crom? Yeah, it's pre-shrunk. Yeah, which is perfect. But it's still got that lovely calico oh, smell. It reminds me of being at Wimbledon School of Art, all very oh. young and fresh and oh. naive from the country, back being that big, bad London town. <laughs> right, so what have you done? So you've taken a square of cotton. So I've got a squ square of cotton, and then um, you can just play around. You could do, you know, some of the... Um, are they lilac? Actually, lilac hangs, doesn't it? Yeah, but but, yeah. Does, it's, but if you look at the other lilac on the other fabric, it's got a stalk on it, so that yes. might not make me think it wasn't a, a, yeah. a lilac. Yeah. But Anna says, morning, which stitch length or width do you use for free motion? Um, just you don't change the stitch length Telco. or width. Yeah. You um, actually leave it as it is on the machine. Some of them, when some of the machines, when you put a free motion foot on there, it will automatically change the stick, stick stitch yeah. length and width but it doesn't but you matter you don't have to because you're dropping the feed dogs and you're in charge of actually okay. how long the um quicker you put your fabric through the actual machine the longer the stitch if you do it slowly then it's tiny stitches Perfect. so uh, steph's at home in the damp no she's not oh. damp she's <laughs> thi oh she's crocheting anyway steph Lovely. Right, so you're cutting round all your bits and bobs. Yeah, cutting round um, all your bits and bobs. And you've got loads, loads and loads and loads. And you can just start playing around with it. Um, and, you know, depending on, you can lay all the flowers out, have a look at it, overlap. Um, put some in the background so it looks more three-dimensional. Well, also if you've done if you've done one of the Delphine, but um, oh gosh, yes. You know, like where she does her inspiration panels, yes. and you put all the flowers on things yes. like that. You'll be used to doing this. Yes, you? definitely. Um, so you know, you can play around with it. Have this in the background if you like. Um, some of the little ones. Play around with the colours. Yeah. Overlap, um, and then put some of these. These look like an anemones, I think. And then these look like clematis. Oh, they're not Christmas roses. Hellebores. They could be hellebores. I don't yes. know. I'm not gardener. I'm just. Yeah, you know. they could be hellebores. Yes. Hannah says she'll have pictures of her enemies on there as well. <laughs> There'll be a big cushion. <laughs> so um, you can just play around with them and, you know, put them however you like. Um, and then you can use your um, friction pen and draw some stems and leaves and things like that you can do grass oh but you don't stitch those you wouldn't leave you wouldn't leave them as that's you draw in where you're going to stitch yes. it yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 so i'm just going to do a little one and then i'm going to press do you know it. what if you've got calico and i know i'm going on and on and on about calico this morning you could dye the calico for the background of the color because it dyes beautifully calico and i was just sitting there thinking what you could do is if you've got some dyes at home make a washing up bowl full of like greens or something like that and then a washing up bowl full of pale blues or something and you could ombre dip it yes so that your ombre so you've got like a background to then put your flowers on or something yes, like that yes definitely definitely or if you've got green um fabric just normal green oh fabric, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah or like the helen newton um cushions you could have um, some green fabric for the bottom and then blue fabric oh, for yes, the top. Oh, yes, yes, so In fact, she's in this week, I think. Is she? Isn't she in on Friday? That's tomorrow. I'm th Helen Newton, I'm sure she said she was in on Friday. There's some gorgeous... I've seen some gnomes. Oh, is that, I think that's Helen's. what she's coming to do. Yeah. I think that's what she's doing. Oh, maybe I've got it wrong. I'm sure she said on her Facebook she was on on the 4th of November or something. No, no, oh, is it? She said, oh, but she put it on her Facebook page. Oh, maybe it's someone else doing it. But Cara normally does her patterns, that's Aww. all. Oh, okay. Right, so I'm just going to play around with these. So you can see how quickly and easily you can just play around. Yeah. Move things around until you're happy with the position. 
fact, I'm going to do it like that. You've made that completely different to what you started with, haven't you? Now? I know. That's what I love about, you know, doing... Oh, it could be a so Budlier, like... apparently. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, that, that one's a Budlier. That yes. one there, yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah. So just make sure you don't do it <coughs> around the edge. Um, the other thing is, is if you haven't used the background um, for the um, hanging and you've got the spare fabric, yes, for the back of the cushion, or but you can do some strips. A binding, yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe if there's a stalk, it could be a delphinium, says Jenny, in County Tipperary. It's a long Ooh. way to go there, isn't it? <laughs> So I'm actually going to move things up a little bit. No. She'll still be faffing with this. We're about to run out of time and she's still oh, faffing right. with that. Sorry, I'll faff. No, I'm no, a good faffer. It's just showing you how easy it is to put things together. Yeah. Don't like that. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to come Yeah, so what that. we're saying is put them out, yep. go for a cup of tea and come back. Because yep. you might not like it when you come back. And if yep. you've already bond webbed it down, it's too late then, isn't it? Right. I'm going to go is that for it. it. Yeah. So I'm just going to go for it. So I'm oh, using... Oh, you move on the flowers then. Oh, no. The that, that one there, you moved it. Oh, does it matter? Well, I don't know. You... <laughs> <laughs> it's your picture. Don't you come running to me when it's not in the right place. Oh, bless you. Right, so... well, shine that. I've got to recap, got to finish. Oh, right, the sewing one. Way too many people got the sewing one in their basket uh, than we've got stock of. So if you want that, make sure you check out. The one that we're using at the moment, the floral one. Oh, right. This one's got so many in baskets. So many of these in baskets. Oh, Carol, I can't hold and read at the same time. Hi, John and Carol. I've got the floral calendar. I've made the leftover flowers into a bouquet. Ooh. I'd make the leftover flowers into a bouquet cushion. Love, Carol. Ooh. Can't have it yet because I've still got it here, Carol. Beautiful. So oh that's gosh, that one. Yeah. Loads and loads and loads. You got that one in your basket. And then we've also got the bee one. The bees. There you go. And we'll just show you Charlie's close ups of the bees. There's one. There's the skip. And there's one by March. There's the whole thing. Brilliant. Right, Carl, I'm going to leave you standing there doodling. <laughs> Carl will be back in an hour's time when we're doing. Oh, the folded cushion. The <gasps> yes. folded cushion. Right, we've got it in. Uh, you buy all three, you get a special deal. If you buy the black and grey, the red and the blue, you get your pattern, you get a special deal with that. Or you can buy the red on its own, or you can buy the black on its own. You cannot buy the blue on its own. Oh, the bundle of all three, of course, the stock's gone already. Of course, the stock's gone already. So if you want that, should be on in an hour to show you how to do that one. Uh, I'll be back in four minutes time. I've got a uh, cafe and lots and lots of gorgeousness. And I've got a bit of June Taylor that's sneaked in there. I'll see you in four. Hello, I'm Emma Bradford from the Swift Quilting Company. I've been a quilter for 25 years. I began sewing and quilting by hand, but now I offer long arm quilting services and I run patchwork and quilting classes. You can see me regularly on Sewing Street demonstrating patchwork techniques. My top tip is there is no right or wrong way, only the way that works for you. There is no such thing as the quilting police. Outside of quilting, I am a qualified botanist and I enjoy riding my motorbike around the country. I hope to see you soon on Sewing Street. We're going. We're going. But we're going. We're, we're all, all going. going. To the Creative Craft Show at the Birmingham NEC from Thursday the 3rd to Sunday the 6th of November. We'll be bringing goodie bags, a tombola, and a chance for you to meet your favourite guests and presenters across all channels. Not to mention the opportunity to shop and to be inspired by some of the best crafting brands around. And because we're going, you can get discounted tickets of up to 40% by using the code BIRMINGHAM40. And logging on to creativecraftshow.co.uk. So, 
come and meet the family. Between the 3rd and 6th of November at the Birmingham NEC. At the Creative Craft Show. See you there. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! for ideas for the perfect gift, why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Now, look at all of this, right? These are all my K fabrics by the half a metre. We haven't got time to go through all of them, right? I'm just moving a bit of space there. Haven't got time to go through all of them. If there are any in particular that you love, that you want me to waft, then please do. Some of them are the traditional jumble there, Grandma's Garden. We've got the brand new, there's very, very little of his new collection. We've got that Paisley fabric there. But there's all, this is everything that we've got of CAFE at the moment. If there are any, do what, what? If there are any that you want, then let me know. Oh, that's the tapestry one, the um, shawl one, isn't it? Um, the embroidered shawl. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful CAFEs there. If you want any of those, just let me know and I'll be able to show them for you. They're all on the website, but if there are any that you want to have a look at, just let me know. Just let me know. Okay, just put those there and those there. Right, where do you want me to start then? Pan, that's you. Okay. Five inch charm packing parakeet. Oh, hang on. Yep, I've got twice, I've got two of them. I've got two of them. Right, okay. Okay, right, okay, here we go. So. 16.99 you get 42 five inch squares 42 five inch squares you get here oh hang on there's a bit of cellar tape on the back there here you go 
It's, all you have to explain is that they've just confused. Yeah. Beautiful, look at these. This is parakeet. Gorgeous. Here's uh, one of Hannah's favourites. and That was called Disco Fans or Disco Mermaid Tales. Do you remember? First time we saw that one. Plaid. Gorgeous. Look, 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 look. Got the spots here. Then that beautiful Japanese chrysanthemum one. Then you've got your... Now, they're the ovoids. They've got, they're actually, I think he might have changed the name of those. Anyway, then we've got the leaves. Then you've got your convolulus. Then your paperweights. You've got your dot. Then you've got the beautiful lime greens in there. All these five inch squares, 42 of them for 16.99. Oh, feathers. Lovely. Gorgeous cut. Oh, look at that lovely aqua there. Oh, then you've got Grandma's Garden at the end there. Or Grandma's Flowers, I think they're called. Anyway, all of those for £16.99. Oh, OK. Beautiful, £16.99. 16.99. Now, what you, you often see the five inch squares, don't you, on um, Delphine's project. She used a lot of them on her project, like Oliver the Owl and the Christmas, uh, no, the Cathedral Window, Cathedral Window. But you can also use them on your charming circles, which I'll show you in a second as well. No, if they have, they're not here. Right, yo, a charming circles, first of all. This is such a lovely, lovely, lovely idea from June Taylor. If you like weighted blankets, this is the best way to make a weighted blanket. Or you can use it for making handbags and things like that. I, um, I, oh, there you go, there you go, there you go. So you can make a weighted blanket. But what I love about this is you can recycle. If you do a denim one, right, you can just go to charity shops and buy loads of old denim jeans, right? Because what happens, um, have, we, have we got any? Did any arrive now? Cal denim, the denim hasn't arrived. Right. Yeah, I've got one, well, I've got one here, but it's not heavy, it's not the right weight. Yeah, right, okay, so what you literally do, you see, this is fantastic, right? So what you can do is you cut a circle of your denim. Obviously, when you get yours, you take this paper backing off here, but you, you cut a circle of your denim, right? And then you, you put your five inch charm pack in the middle, like that. And then you fought, what you do is you stitch along that like, so you've got lots and lots of them, right? That we were supposed to have some denim arrived so I could show you how to do it. But basically, actually, do you know what? I'll just put it in now. If, if the denim arrives, let me, I'll, if the denim arrives in the hour, I'll show you how to do it. And if not, I'll try and do it in the last hour for you. But basically, what you do is you put your five inch charm pack in there and then you can stitch down there and there and then they fold over. So the denim folds over and gives you this pattern. You see here, it looks like a cedar window, but you don't edge the end of, edge of the denim. What you do is you uh, leave it to uh, fray. And if you want to, you can stitch around the edge there so it doesn't come apart. And then you can create something like this. But then on the other side, and they don't show you on here oh do they no on the other side all you have is squares of all the different denims that you've used on there's like a patchwork of denim on the other side it's such a really really lovely project to do so again you can use it to make the bag I think it originally was called like Japanese folding or something like that. Michelle says the June Taylor Charming Circles is amazing. It is, it's fantastic. You make that. But look, you can make, you can then set it so that it goes into like a cushion cover and things and creates, you see the denim there, it just creates the flower patterns with your other fabric as your background fabric. It's such a lovely and so easy to do. But the ruler, having the ruler here means that you can... Um, 
center it you've got the lines where it's going to fold over to you've got the lines where your five inch square is going to go you can mark your seams with it and everything like that full instructions on the back of here you, oh there you go look i can show you right so there's figure one then you sew down the line there right so that they then fold over. So you then make, you make a row, and then what you do is you make rows and then you join them together. So eventually all the bits of denim fold over. Oh, it's about to sell out. Oh, it's sold out, it's sold out. It's a, such a lovely, lovely thing to have. Okay, right, so move that over there, that over there. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yes. Right. You are. Okay. Now, I'm a little bit... This isn't cave, right? This isn't cave. We're both masters of colour. Well, no, my name's not even on it. Right, okay. So, um, if, you, if you like that thing, you like five-inch squares, you didn't get the cave or whatever, where on my birthday show, Delphine and I, between us, de designed a uh, Buddha block, right? And then uh, I was asked to, to choose different fabrics that you cut up and everything for it. They've dismantled that. Well, there was no, there's none left. They've basically got more printed of these, but haven't made the kit, right? We don't know if they're going to make the kit, but we just thought we'd show you this today. <clears throat> these are all the fabrics. That How brilliant would these look with the denim? They're five inch squares. And look at the price, $19.99. How many, you get so many though. Um, Oh, no, my name is there. Oh, it's not in the graphic, but look. X John Scott. Now, it's funny, I didn't get paid any money for this. <laughs> surprise, surprise. But look, I designed these fabrics for that Buddha. Yeah, Delphine's trying to cross my name out. That's what the X is there for. So you get 60, not, not 40. You get 60 squares there for 19.99. I'll open it out so you can see all of them. Look, Paisley for Charlie there. Uh, it, what it was, I just chose all my favorite Indian kind of fabrics and then recolored them all. Oh, look, now that's like Jane Crowfoot's um, blanket yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah, what's the matter? What are you laughing about in there? Beautiful, look at all those colours. It's gonna be like a rainbow. And then mix it with all the denims. It's gonna look fantastic. Now it's not a K fan, we're not supposed to, it is a K fan, we're not supposed to be in John Scott Delphine Brooks. It's all about colour, this hour, really, all about colour. How stunning. 60, five inch squares you get there. 60 of them. And even if you're not gonna do the June Taylor squares, imagine what you could do with all those colours and you get 60 of them in there for your 19.99 oh gorgeous right now do you know what if you buy this right you know how i love like black opal with the, i would say we'll do a dark but if you mixed all these colors with black this is a bundle of one meter of fabric now it's called a backing bundle it's not backing because it's just a meter right be a metre of the black fabric, right? Imagine with all of these colours with a black background there. So obviously you're only getting this for your 758. Let me move that one out of the way now. Right now, if you multiply this, this one doesn't come joined up. It's just a metre of fabric. So if you buy, if you, oh, now for the lady who sent the message last night, uh, you should ring the call centre. Ring the call centre because that shouldn't have happened. Anyway, black metre £7.58. That's not, no, it doesn't look exciting. Nice quality. Nice quality. Is this Rose and Hubble? £7.58. £7.58 £7 for your metre of fabric there. That's the black. Yeah, yeah. So you buy that and that together. So what would that be? £27.55. Is that right? 26, 50, no, 20 pounds plus 7.58 be 27, 56, 50, 55, 57. Oh, Max, what's wrong with me? I've worked on Sheldon's fruit and vegetable. 
Yeah, well, I've moved up to dairy and boiled chickens. I don't know about that. 27.57. What did I say? 27.58. Anyway. Yeah, there you go. Anna says if you short change, she'll, she'll give you the rest. Uh, it would make a fantastic quilt, wouldn't it? Beautiful, that bundle. Where's it gone? Have you taken the five inch square panel away? Where did I put it? <laughs> she's, she's really on, are you, do you need to leave early today? She's, I'm, going, I'm showing like this, the cat's packing it like that. And she's going, it, it's strange, there's something yeah, there's something very strange going on in the world at the moment. Right, I'm going to keep that there. Right, next. White. Got the white version of that. <laughs> the white version of that. We've got a metre of white fabric. <coughs> Mesh on bottom. Hi, John. I bought the Buddha panel to make June Taylor circle quilt using a combination of new denim and old jeans. A project for the new year. Love, Carol. Oh, Carol, I bet that's going to look lovely. Yeah, because it's all about upcycling. Go to the charity shop. Oh, you might have old... I've got so many pairs of old jeans on my rail that I'm never going to wear. And I keep thinking, oh, one day I might fit into them. But anyway. Oh, yes, he got the job. Yeah. So I'm going to be joining a gym in, where is it? Solly Hull. Solly Hull, yeah. Anyway, £7.49. Beautiful. One metre of white fabric there. You can put that one away. So. <laughs> Next. Yeah, yeah, I've got Kay Freddy. No, he's not here. He's not here. I've not got him ready, no. Yep. Mars, fat quarter bundle. These are beautiful. Look, now, 89.99. You get 20 fat quarters in here. 20 fat quarters. So you got your brassica, your um, flowers, your brassicas, your regimental ties, your grandma's garden, your rainbows, your jumble, grandma's garden. Never remember what that one's called. Hannah will better tell me. That's not can can dancers. Oh no, but it could be. Oh, and we haven't got enough of this. I'll, I'll look at the other kind. They're fans. I thought they were um, turkeys running at you. Or oh, not turkeys, peacocks running at you. Rainbow, beautiful flowers, regimental ties, more beautiful flowers. Um, succulent, oh, only got two of these left. Grandma's garden, jumbles, rainbows, beautiful flowers. Now, I want to say snails, but I don't think it is snails, is it? This is the only trouble with the fat quarter. You've only, you only got half a selvage to look at, haven't you? And more beautiful flowers with a back background, more regimental ties. Two of those left, 89.99. Two left. And two people got it in their basket. So that's about to go. If you check out. Lovely. Now I've got Neptune. Same price, 89.99. You've got your grandma's garden twice. Feathers in this one. Oh, lovely. Oh, now that's geodes. Then you've got your jumbles. More geodes. I want to call that succulents, but it's not called succulents. I should know these by now, I should know. I just get to know one, you see, and then we get another one. Oh, there we go. Let's have a look see if this has got the name on the salvage. Regal fans, they're called. Hannah. Yeah, Can Can Ladies, Regal fans. Uh, jumbles. Beautiful succulents. Rainbows. Lovely flowers. More gorgeous flowers. That's called Shadow Flower, that one. Oh, sold out. I'll finish showing you, though. I'll finish showing because we bought it. Beautiful flowers with a dark green background. Regimental ties. Geodes. More flowers. 
and then you've got your jumbles. Right, got Neptune design roll. Now that sold out, by the way. Right. Yeah, fine. Lovely. So that's this one here. So this is your Neptune. That's how yours will arrive. This is mine to show you. There you go. Come on. Now it's the same flat fabric you saw in the um, five inch charm pack. Beautiful. Today. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, I thought, do you know what I thought you did, right? So Hannah was just, I was just taking the mickey out of Hannah, right? Because she said, I'm a, bit, I'm a bit on the slow side today. And I went, today? She went, John, this might hurt your ears. And then she whacked the microphone like that. And I thought it was her getting back to me. But what it's actually doing is it got stuck to the mirror. And she had to pull it off the mirror. And now I could hear her properly. No, all day I've been saying, I can't hear, I can't hear. Why? Oh. Well, let's blame the lifestyle people who are in at night time. That's gorgeous, isn't it, that one? Two and a half inch wide, width of fabrics, 44 inches long. Regimental ties, shadow flowers. Lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. 44.99, you get 40 strips. 40 strips of two and a half inches. Lovely, yummy. Single figures. I've got some 10 inch charm packs or layer cakes. Cool, cool, warm, and Mars. We'll start with Mars. Okay, here we go. So, this is how yours will look when it arrives. Beautifully packaged. Oh, do you know what I fancy? A samosa. I don't know where that came from then. A vegetable samosa would be nice now. Have you got one? And do you used to bring packed lunches, Charlie, with all lovely Indian food in it? Jumbles. Rainbows. Isn't that lovely? 10 inch squares, these remember, 44.99 for 42 squares. I stumbled a bit then, didn't I? Did doubted myself then. Shadow flower. Grandma's garden. Regimental ties. Oh, I love this. There was a Paul, Paul Smith shirt. Um, oh, I must have had it for about 25 years. Now. Well, I haven't got it anymore. I've given it away now. 25 years. And it was a print like that in dark brown background with beautiful creams and blues. It was stunning. Uh, Brassica. Regimental ties, grandma's garden, folded rainbow. Aren't they just lovely? 44 pounds and the regal fans. Not can can dancers, not peacocks, turkeys, regal fans. It's lovely, isn't it? This one's your um, Mars. Not like the bar, like the planet. There we go. Lovely, right, moving on. Right, cool this one's called now. I've just got a bit of fabric in my eye then. There we go. Right, forty-four ninety-nine. This one is ten inch charm packs. These are cool, which means it's like the blue colorway. 
Yeah, that doesn't make sense, does it? The blue's colourway, but you say cool as a cucumber, don't you? Which isn't blue. There we go. Oh, they've started doing two layers of sellotape now. Yeah. Did you put these sellotapes there, Kat? That's come from the shop. Right, here we go. These are beautiful. Oh, we are the shop, of course. I'll be at the shop at the NEC. To oh, tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Saturday. Saturday, Saturday. Have my hair cut tomorrow. Yeah, haircut, bloods, accounts, and something else tomorrow. Anyway, look. Oh. Hello. Look. I think he's going through a phase of loving succulents, isn't he? That, I just adore that. No, the fabric, not you, Hannah. Hannah went, oh, thank you. Paisley, big Paisley. Don't, not sure what that is. Vertebrae, I think I'd call that one. Look how gorgeous are these in the cool. You know, a footballer called Harry Cool. I'm sure he's married to, um, what's her name? He's been Emma Dale. Anyway. Trisha. You don't spell it like cool. It's K-E-W-L, I think. Is that, is that one embroidered shawls? I think that one's embroidered shawls from his latest range, isn't it, that one? Uh, Brollies. These are all from his latest collection, these. Don't remember that one. Look, I don't remember that one at all. Harry, is he called Harry? That's it, and who's he married to? Don't worry, beautiful, moving on. Cherie Murphy, she played Trisha in M Emmerdale, that's right. 44, 19, yeah, married to, married to Cherie, says June, there you go. Oh, I'm really sorry, but the fluff from these fabrics have got into my eyes today. Right, yo. No, I don't know. I... Oh, and I drip wash in the break. That might take longer than three minutes. Lovely, that was cool. Pardon. Okay, this one's warm. Have they not sent any pictures from the NEC? You can get your chat on your phone. Hmm? Get teams on your phone. You should get them to send us a picture. There's ten of them there today. Jess is there today. The new lady's there. I can never remember her name. Yeah. Kerry, that's it, Kerry. Look at that, isn't that lovely? This is warm, obviously. Oh! <gasps> what? Oh, I thought something's happened, Charlie. Look, I love this. I love this one. This charm pack, this layer cake. <gasps> now is that pinwheels? I don't know if that's pinwheels or not. Looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, look, 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 look. Because you like that fabric. Got it by the half meter and it's called pinwheels from the latest collection. See, I'm on it sometimes, aren't I? That one's called your um, embroidered shawl. Know what that one's called? Wobbly stripes. Yes. Do 
$44.99. Brawlies. Look at that, beautiful, aren't they? <gasps> Charlie, it's the inside of your soul, that one. Oh, now, now, pass me that black fabric, cat. Just had an idea. This is the, t the one meter black bundle from earlier, remember? No, no, on my telly that just looks black. I can't see any colour on my telly with that one at all. Here, ahead of me, like, I can never see any colour on this screen here. Yeah. Well, I... Where's my overhead? You know what I mean? The camera's been here now for weeks on end, but they haven't got a clamp now to put it up. What? Oh, the clamp came the other day. You sure? Yeah. I'm getting, oh yeah, I'm getting bigger, Charlie, now with this. I'm messing up this um, layer cake cat, I'm afraid. Well, I can't decide where to go next. Yeah, you've got loads to play with, haven't you? Look. See, look. So this is your metre of your black bundle there, which is in that... that that side there, and then this here, are these here. They were my fake arms you just saw going in there. Isn't it lovely? You see, I love quilts with black or dark backgrounds. What's the matter, Charlie? No, I'm not in Saturday. Uh, yeah, but the NEC this Saturday. And then next Saturday, I'm at Compton Verney at the textile fair at Compton Verney. I know, I can't wait. That's why I'm at the NEC. Oh, I'm stopping now. Just I'm starting to enjoy it. What were you saying to me, though? Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, that's not part of it, John. Trying to put the fabrics on. Don't belong there, no. Nice. No. Right, I'm done. Yeah. That's the end of my design. Don't know what it's called, don't know how you put it together, but it looks nice. Oh, do you know what I could have done, though? Yeah, load. Oh, yeah, I'm just reusing those, but that. that. Ooh. Fancy you knowing a footballer's name. No, it's because I know Cherie, don't I? Because it's silly, really. I know Cherie's name, but it's her name I couldn't remember. I can't remember what we used to do. We, obviously, she's come on this morning a lot, but um, 
Yeah, we used to do lots together in a car. Because I used to get to Emmerdale a lot, didn't I? When I was at this morning, I used to get to Emmerdale a lot and do a lot of um, the on-set, you know, on-site reports and everything. When there was a big story coming up or something. Anyway, enough of me indulging in my caves. That's your warm layer cake or charm pack, plus your metre of your black fabric there. Sorry, cat. <laughs> Meter black, do check out. Oh, I think that must be that must be long too then. Oh, half the stock of this is gone. Half the stock of this is gone. Who says hello? Oh, <laughs> it'll be good for loads of things, not just cave. I, was, <laughs> I thought you said somebody said hello. Owl the Oliver, Oliver the Owl. Right, here we go. This is the only colour we've got left now. Delphine, now this is old Delphine. I had nothing to do with this one whatsoever. Delphine Brooks, orange and green, K facet, applique, owl cushion kit, instructions, five inch charm pack and fabric cuff for metre. 29.99. I think this was the last time Delphine was in with me. Twentieth of October. There's all your applique pieces there. You got your, uh, is it not green? Oh, this has got green in it, I suppose. And then you've got the pale blue as your background. Yeah. You, oh, have we? Got the instructions on their own if you would like to do it with the Buddha colors. I haven't got different shades of white though. Yes. A white, you could use the white fabric on a white background, make a snowy owl in a snowstorm. 20 of these instructions left. Yeah, yeah. Nine of today's allocation. Okay, moving on. Okay, I've got a I've got a five inch charm pack. Is this sold out, Emperor? Oh, sold out, sold out, sold out. Right, let's do some of the fabrics on their own then. <sighs> Laura, Laura fabric here, as Silla would say. Some have sold out. Okay then. No, 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 no. Go on, go on, go on. Oh, what's it called? Collective meadow in teal, ending 20. Ending 20. Ending 27. Ooh, maybe. Yeah, maybe that'd be better. 27, there it is, DPU 27, done, gone. That's sold out. Right, I'm just going to do it like this. Let's do pinwheels first then. So I've got pinwheels of ending 42. Seven nine nine for half a metre. It's contrast, this colourway is called contrast. Lovely, isn't it? Gorgeous colours in there. Then I've got pinwheels in like pinks and reds. There's only three metres this left. This is all the brand new collection, right? And there's only three metres of that left. Bolster cushion at the end of the bed. I have two cats for that now. What colourway is that one called? Red. I also have pinwheels in your orange and green. Forty, ending forty. Got the whole code. 
Meter and a half for that one left, that's all. It's beautiful, isn't it? All from the brand new collection, this. First time Hannah's seen it. Well, Hannah, you should have seen. We had so much, and on that first show, so much of it went. Okay, and then I've got some pastel. I think that's all the pinwheels once I've done that. Yeah, five meters this one, that's all. Right, there's no more, there's no more pinwheels. Lovely. Now let's do the Paisley one, which is uh, now this one's called Paisley Jungle. I'll have to give you the number because it's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I've only got this in two colorways, actually. He says. Oh, oh, what's happened? Right, I've only got the Paisley in the two colourways, right? That's this one, which is called Contrast. Well, it's because it all sold out, Charlie. That's why. It's very popular. And then we've got this one in the, like, greens and purples and black. Yeah. Lovely, isn't it? Picture on the web's not doing it justice, apparently. Oh, no, not at all. Not at all. Loads of people got this dead basket, but there's only seven metres of this one left. Lovely. Uh, now I'm going to go on to, I think it's called Embroidered Shawl. Yeah, it is. Embroidered Shawl. Blimey. I'm even impressing myself today in the black. Yeah. There's only six metres of this. Hmm? Yeah, no, 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 we had, yeah. Oh, hang on, hang on. I think, all oh, right, hang on. What's it, end code? Oh, yeah, they've just sent it twice. They've sent it twice. Look. Beautiful. I'm just sorting them out. I think, I don't think I've got... Any more of that one? Hang on, let's have a look. No, I have. I've got it in the blue. Got it in the blue. You sound like Elliot then. You sounded like Elliot then. Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I've t I found it, found it, found it, yeah. Got it in another... Oh, that's a big label. <laughs> Don't normally have labels looking like that, do we? Maybe they've got somebody in charge of label making now. One metre of that left, that's all. Right, uh, and then here's the other colourway. I love this colourway. Ending 91. Oh, it's been a bit creased, this one. I do apologise. There we go. Lovely, isn't it? Seven ninety nine. Got a bit more of that one for some reason. Lovely, isn't it? That's the end of the embroidered shawl. Now let's do meadow. I think this one's called meadow. Uh, it's the pink, 
Oh, it doesn't say actually. Let me just double check. Yeah, you got it. Oh, isn't that pretty? Gorgeous. Message on my bottom. These are lovely designs, aren't they, Fran? Absolutely stunning. This is the brand new range I'm showing you ones of now. And that how limited, how limited are we already? Yeah, yeah, some of these have only been on air twice. Right, so that's the meadow one. Then I've also got meadow in two other colours. Meadow in red. Oh, I thought, thought Charlie was wanting my attention then. He went, John, like that. And I was like, oh, there's two Johns. Meadow in red. John Scott's a very common name. He plays rugby. He plays the organ at Wakefield Cathedral. There was uh, Princess John Scott Encozy, who lives at, well, who will be about 30 now, <laughs> who's named after me. Peaches, Peaches Encozy. Peaches John Scott Encozy. Uh, and there's a little boy called John Scott that's running. They're not my children. But not my children. They're ladies who w worked for me when we did Ghost in the Darkness, when they had, because we were there for so long, they had children, and they named them after me. Then we've got Meadow in purple. Huh? One of them's a little girl, yeah. Peaches. Peaches, John Scott, and Cozy. And then Cozy means princess. That one's going to sell out. Now, I've got one with dots in the background and I really can't remember what this one's called, I'm afraid. I'll get it now. It's called Big Blooms. That's a song, isn't it? I got big blooms. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, Kate's just stunning fabric and fabulous quality, says Low. It is indeed Low. Free spirit. So that shit, what have we called that one? Pastel. Big blooms in pastel. Then I've got big blooms in pink, it looks like, or purple. Purple. Oh, no, there's a yellow on there as well. It might just be bright. Oh, we're having some issues. Oh, here he is again. What's he brought this time? <laughs> oh, what code is this one? O2. What are you eating? What's he eating? Oh, he's got a sore throat. Oh, don't come in here. Roy. Oh, cat's in the building, everyone. I know, now she's very happy because it's the lot, because you know they do an early shift next door, she hasn't got to do the early shift anymore. Right, let's do brollies next. What's that? Oh. Handsome Adam's very happy that Kat's not doing the early mornings anymore. Gorgeous brollies in red. Is that Laura you got in there? There you got the blue brollies. Blue, blue brollies. At seven ninety nine, lovely, isn't it? Now, this one is called Flora. On dark, this one will be what dark? I can't see you as a Flora somehow. No, it sounds nice. Flora McCabe sounds lovely, but you're not a Flora. You're more like Bramble. 
That's what you're more like. <laughs> Here we go, Flora in blue. Oh, I love that. The pop of the lime green in that one is stunning, isn't it? Beautiful. Then I've got this in a grey. There you go. Oh, blow your nose in the gallery. That's just stunning, look. Oh, sold out. Sold out, sold out, sold out. I've got that in the green. Green. Oh, I've got, I've got another colourway. We've got another colourway as well. Oh, have we done the grey one? Yeah, no, there is one more colourway, sorry. My bad. Here's your pale grey one now. Ooh, that's nice. Found it. Lovely. Then look at this one. We've got house leaks. House leaks on black, this one. Your house leaks, does it? Sandra says, what fabulous colours aren't they, Sandra? Seven ninety-nine. Now we've got it in a bright red and purple and green. Oh, it's just in the red. That's called that one red. Oh, sold out. Sold out. Sold out. Sold out. Then we've got it in the, um, now I don't know, would it be the contrast this one be called? Yeah. Just two and a half metres of that one left. Beautiful. Then we've got it in the uh, turquoise. Sold out, turquoise are sold out. And then last colour, we've got it in the um, green, I imagine this one's called. What's the code? Yeah, grey, this one. I don't know where the grey is. Yeah, you can't see any in the background though. Beautiful. Then I've got one more fabric. Oh no, uh, yeah, one more fabric from this range. This one's called Hellebores. Right, that's all the new range done, but I can do shadow, have I got time? Oh yes, yeah, shadow plant, shadow flower. Shadow flower in the lavender. No, hang on, that says teal. Hang on, hang on, hang on. 65. How weird they've called that one teal. Just go back to your cardboard, will you, and your paint. <laughs> a 
Look, now what colour they called this one then? Pink. Must be the flower then. They must have just picked one flower. Yes. Lovely. Let's do regal fans next in the pink. Regal fans in the pink. Then we've got that in the green. Now, remember the interview that um, Rebecca Reed did with Cave. Cave shirt was made of this fabric. This is the green, Regal fans in green. Then I've got, now I keep calling this one snails. I'm not sure if it is snails, this one. Escargot. No, it's called spiral shells. Yeah, but they're snail shells, aren't they? Only two meters this one left. Oh, no. Oh, I've just told you a fib as well. I said we'd finished all of the latest range, but I've got one of the latest range here called Cloison. Now, I've never tried snails. There you go, Cloison. Uh, no, hang on. Oh, I've got this one called Cloison. Z O U 107. Okay, it's, well, someone's called it Charlotte for some reason. I'll move on. You'll get that. If you order that number, that's the fabric you'll get. Okay, then we've got, yes, yeah, maybe Barry. This is called Charlotte. No, stop. This one's called Charlotte. But that's a different fabric. Yeah, okay, this is Charlotte. Yeah, we've called this Charlotte. So it would be the day they were typing them up. They'll have just written Charlotte twice. You'll get the right fabric. You will, if you order the right number, yeah. It's most for Friday afternoon. Then we've got Jumble in the red and blue or red and purple. Only five meters this one left. He does do jumble quite a few times over the seasons, um, but he changes the color. This is blue and orange. Because he does do disco jumble as well. I thought it was Thursday. Is it Thursday today? I thought Thursday was the day nobody came in. It seems busier than ever today. And then this is your jumble in your blue. Just three fabrics left, then I'll be going for a break. <sighs> then we've got, now I always call this Grandma's Garden. Let's just see if it's really called Grandma's Garden. It's like Jumble. No, it's called Flower Dot. Oh, I know why I call it Grandma's Garden, because when you put hexes together, doesn't that call, call, you know, like when you do hexes like that, that's Grandma's Garden, isn't it? Flower dot retro, this one. So retro's the colour, apparently. Then I've got the same fabric in the turquoise. Flower dot in the turquoise. Oh, teal, they've called it, teal. Just jumble, coloured in with different fabrics. The felt pens, isn't it? And then last but not least, we've got regimental ties. You're right, Charlie, doing a lot of, oh, today. Oh. £7.49. I'll just recap the Buddha, bun the Buddha um, panel as well, and then we'll move on. The Delphine Brooks X John Scott panel. 
There you go. Beautiful 65-inch squares you get there. 60 of them for 19.99. Panel's huge and it's gorgeous and it's colourful and it's bright. Oh, excuse me. Oh, no, I'll say sitting down. Oh, there you go. 19.99. I was just stretching my legs. 19.99. No, more people in baskets than we got available. I hope they haven't put that in a different pro. Because we just stole that to put in the show, right? Because we like it. You watch, they'll be doing a project next week. Delphine's Buddha, X John, no panels. Uh, don't go anywhere. Delphine, no, not Delphine. Car rate up after the break. Uh, we're going to be doing a folded star. Now, if you want to buy the bundle of the three panels that's on a special offer, you need to be quick because they're absolutely flying out. Show the folded star, please. Thank you, Charlie. No, that's a calendar. There you go. That's the red one. Oh, it's a close-up. <laughs> oh, I say no. I'll see, I'll see you in four. I'm Becky, I'm the soft craft expert for Crafters Companion. Um, I come from London and I've been sewing pretty much all my life. I particularly enjoy doing embroidery, I'm really keen on that, but I've, I've, my background is um, dressmaking and also sort of patchwork and quilting. Um, so I do an awful lot of sewing for all sorts of different things. I suppose once you start sewing, you start doing lots of other kinds of sewing. So I particularly like got into needlepoint um, during lockdown, but I suppose embroidery is probably my real passion. My mum was a costume designer, um, so we were always sort of surrounded by bits of fabric and material and ribbons and that kind of thing. And I was always making teddies um, and my dolls clothes as a small child. So it was just something that was quite natural. And in fact, I've got so used to being able to sew, um, it's just become a natural sort of part of what I do. Um, I'm always fiddling around with fabric, as my husband puts it, um, making something new, um, trying something out. Always measure twice, cut once. Um, I'm a great one for not doing that and I always regret it. And making sure that you've got an iron to hand is really important. I use a tiny little, um, sort of almost like a travel iron that I have right next to my desk when I'm working so it doesn't take up too much space. We're going. We're going. But we're going. We're, we're all going. going. To the Creative Craft Show at the Birmingham NEC from Thursday the 3rd to Sunday the 6th of November. We'll be bringing goodie bags, a tombola and a chance for you to meet your favourite guests and presenters across all channels. Not to mention the opportunity to shop and to be inspired by some of the best crafting brands around. And because we're going, you can get discounted tickets of up to 40% by using the code BIRMINGHAM40. And logging on to creativecraftshow.co.uk. So, come and meet the family. Between the 3rd and 6th of November at the Birmingham NEC. At the Creative Craft Show. See you there. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street. You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. 
And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Folded star. Folded star, always popular, always gorgeous, always lovely. Um, so Kyra said to show you how to do it, but I need to tell you that uh, we've got a bundle of the three different colors, right? So you get the folded star instructions, you get the red one, I'll open them in a minute, you get the red one, the black one, and the blue one. Now I need to tell you, you cannot buy the blue one on its own for some reason. The only way you can get the blue one is by buying the bundle, right? So this is what you get on each panel. So you're saving 26, what? 26 pounds and 90, you're saving, saving 26 pounds and 97 pence by buying the bundle. Okay, so look, this is your panel here. So you've got enough to do all your, oh, it's upside down. You've got enough to do all your foldedy bits, look. Then you've got your um, cushion where you make your little envelope back. And then you've also got all your binding there. And you've got your, what's that bit at the bottom for there? Does that say central? What does that say there? Outer colour. Oh, no, you need it for the triangles on the corner. Of course you do. Triangles on the corner there. So that's your red one. Now, I wouldn't call it red, personally. It's not your telly gone funny. What would I call it? Maroon. What would you call it? Uh, yes. Yeah, maroon. <laughs> maroon five. Everybody needs a what's it for a pillow. Wasn't that them? No. <laughs> no, that was them. This bundle should be 54 pounds, 96 pence. 96 pence, right? You see? I don't know why, normally you get just one for free, don't you, when you die bundle, but that's, well. Yeah, it's near almost half price, isn't it? Almost half price. Anyway, look, so there's the black and grey one. Now, I said in prep this morning, oh, who wants a black and grey cushion? And everyone leapt on me going, it's very on trend, John Scott, the black and the grey. Beautiful, 20, that, you get all of these for 27 99 Oh yes, now little Paul told us that little tiny wellies are very um, on fashion. He wears these like, they look like, they look like, it's only girls I've seen them wearing them, but they're Paul, Paul's, they're like little Wellington boots, right? But they're cut off a tissue. I like galoshes, right? But you wear them around the house and everything. Well, he does. And then the blue one, which is not available anywhere else apart from in the bundle. It's called Blue China, this one. If, it would be if I could open it. There you go. You see, it's my favourite, the blue one as well. But you can only get the blue one in the bundle. And this is the one that Cara's going to be demoing it with. with. Demoing with, with, with. That's beautiful. So that's the bundle. Saving all that money, you get the three panels and the instructions. Right? Now, you can't buy the blue one. It's over half that bundle's gone. You can't buy the blue one. It's own. Pardon? Right, there's half of them have been checked out already, but when everyone checks out, that's the whole, everyone's, they're all gone. Oh, right. So that's a bundle, right? They, they, when you all check out, they've all gone. They've all gone. To save that amount of money, that's fantastic. Right, if you want to buy the red one on its own. Oh. Oh, if you've already got the instructions, so we're not selling it with the instructions, this one. You can buy the instructions on their own, but if you just want the red panel, that's hard, isn't it? 14 99 £14.99 pence for that panel. It's a red panel. Maroon. Yeah, yeah, if you buy two, you can make a pair, says Hannah. She's worked out her maths, yeah. Three, you can make three cushions. A trio <laughs> of cushions on your sofa. 
If you buy 13, you can make a baker's dozen. She's on one now. Right, we'll take the grey and black one. Or oh, charcoal. It's not even grey or black, it's charcoal. Charcoal. Very on trend. I don't think I've got anything black or grey in my house. The thing is, you have to make a cushion. You can make a little bag, couldn't you? To carry your little slippers to work in or something like that. Instructions on their own. Full of photos and written instructions. You can use your own fabric, that's not a problem. All the, the only reason it's brilliant, no, I'll start again. If you've got your own fabric, you've got to do all the cutting out. I know you've got to cut these out, but they're already cut out to the right sizes on here. So you haven't got to think about measuring this many inches by that many inches. It's already been done for you, basically. Whereas you can do your own fabric. Do you, I do a rainbow one, you see. 9.99. Now, you will need a little square of fabric to build the folded star on, right? So you, we've said like, you can use a piece of stash or you can have a fat quarter or something like that. I'm saying buy some calico. Half meat will be fine because you have loads left over. Just as your basis fabric on the back because you've got to build the star onto another fabric. If you've got fabric uh, in your stash, you don't need anything as long as it's like, is it like a 10 inch square or something yes, like that? Yes, just, hmm? just a 10 inch, 10 inch square. Just a 10 inch square. 10 inch square fabric. So you might have something in your stash, which means you don't have to buy anything else, but I always have calico in. Right, I can tell you hundreds and hundreds of units of this have gone now. <laughs> I love it. Right, I'm not going to show you anything else because we're going to get on. Oh, you're all right. Can't just fell over this bit. <laughs> the Halloween day. Is it health and safety day today? Oh, yesterday, that's why it's a tip in here. She's just fallen over the Halloween decorations. <laughs> Ta -da! Over to you. Ta -da! I've never done one of these before. Have you got a folded star? Never done one. No. Have you not? No. And I loved it. Oh, Absolutely brilliant. Because it's been one of our, it. even when we're in Tone Quarter days, it was yes. one of the favourite, favourite projects oh, to do. Oh, honestly, the technique, whoever came up with the technique is just, yeah, it's just beautiful. I think it really. might be an old traditional, because I know Jane Alcock used to do yes. them when we were back in the day. And then yes. it became one of those things where on Facebook, every week yes. there'll be a different folded star. And if anybody's got any photos, please, please, please send them oh, in. Oh, yeah, do. I love seeing how people, and how it changes the way you put the fabrics yes, and everything. Exactly. So yeah. like you say, if you've got a stash at home, you can use your own stash at home. You just need to follow the but, instructions yeah, exactly. and everything. But imagine but it's got... a colour, a rainbow, like going, or, oh, or different pinks, or all different greens, definitely. or all different blues. And some could be patterns, some could be plain, yes. everything like that. Yes, a fantastic way of using up your stash. stash yeah. so okay um so the instructions as john said are very very comprehensive so it takes you through every single step but um the actual folding itself i think sometimes is better if somebody's able to show you so that's what we're going to be um concentrating on today and i'm hoping because i have pre-prepared some i am hoping that we may get to the stage where we can add the um triangular borders and no we will not we, will. we, we will. will we will we will John says we will. We will. Okay. Um, so as I say, get a cup of coffee, cup of tea, sit down and have a, a good read through. Um, on here, um, you know, it does say the Sewing Street panel. So this is um, instructions for the actual panel itself. Um, but if you're cutting it out, it does, um, you know, tell you which ones to cut out and now, everything. Now, does it so, tell you the size of squares to cut out? Yes. Yeah, so oh, good, the yeah. small four... No, don't, 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 you have to tell us. You're right, okay. They have to tell us, but if people buy it, yes. then they'll tell you all the different sizes to cut out. Yes, Brilliant. and you're going to be creating eight um, points on the star and eight colours. So yes. it's 64 altogether. Perfect. Okay, so yeah. it'd be eight of one colour, eight of another, etc. Mm -hmm. etc. Fantastic. Um, and then it takes you through all the steps, which is fantastic. Lovely. So, um, You've got your 10 inch piece of calico and what you want to do is find the center on each side and draw a line so we'll just draw a line with a friction pen is fine and um, if you've got a permanent pen you can use a permanent pen but this doesn't see an iron until um right at the end okay. I, I don't 
iron it because of the beauty of the cushion, if you have a look at the model there, is how three dimensional it is. Um, you know, the actual star itself is very three dimensional. Yeah, definitely. And that's not really been pressed properly. You can steam it, um, but you don't want to flatten it, I no. don't think. Um, so. So you don't see any of this. This could be any piece of fabric because you don't see it. Could, it. You don't see right. any of it anywhere, no, do you? No. Um, and one of the secrets of um, a successful folded star is making sure that everything meets in the centre. If you if you've never done it before, then maybe choose a colour that tones in with the fabric that you're going to oh, have okay. in the centre. Yeah, right, right. So, in case, or in case. you can make a feature of it. You can add a button to the centre mm -hmm. or something like that. So, you know, please don't worry yeah. about it. Enjoy. That's the most important thing. So, I'm just going to um, draw a line. Oh, Lulu's going to the NEC on Saturday. See you there, Lulu. Are you going Saturday? I'm on the stall on Saturday. Oh, uh, the stall. That sounds like a market stall. It is a market stall. Is it? Yeah, it's all we've got. We've not got a demonstration area or anything oh, like okay. that. Because it's literally a shop. Oh, lovely. And we're with uh, Hobby Maker, Hobby Maker and, and Jewelry Maker. Fantastic, all, all together. Oh, yeah. gosh, you'll have a ball, absolute ball. I hope it's busy. I hope lots of people well, are able to I go. Well, I think it was good. I mean, I think it will still be busy, but it's a train strike, isn't it, for four yes. days? So. Yes, yes. When does that start? T tomorrow, uh, today. Oh gosh. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Oh I think goodness. it no, it goes Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday or something like that, I think. Yeah. Some of them are national rail strikes, some of them are just strikes in the West Midlands. Yes. So if you are going to the NEC, please check with your local, what's it called? Train driver union or whatever it's called. Oh, there's two bodybuilders just walked past. <laughs> I missed two that. Two men in vests just walked past the door. I missed that. Like this. <laughs> Wasn't Wayne. No, no, because they were so tall, I couldn't see the heads above the windows. <laughs> um, right, right, OK, yeah. so what I've done is I've done a horizontal, vertical, diagonal. Right. OK, and yeah. that's your base. The next thing you'll do is you'll take your panel. I haven't cut all of this one out because I had two panels, which was fantastic. OK. Um, so you'll cut your pieces of fabric out. And the cutting will take you a little while. Yes. So, um, you know, I did this one day and then did the assembly did the next day. Did you cut day. the rotary cutter or with scissors? Rotary cutter. Mm -hmm. um, just found it easier. But you'll notice that um, obviously we've got the eight going across and the eight coming down. Um, you can actually cut a strip at a time and cut all eight of those. Right. Or you can cut it that way. Oh, OK. The only thing that I would say is if you're cutting it that way, try and keep your fabric in the same order because that will be the order that you're oh, going to actually course, do yeah, yeah, on yeah. the cushion. If you don't and you do it just a strip at a time like that, you'll take one from each strip, but right. you want to try and do it so that you're actually um, going to keep them in the right order. What I did was I cut a strip at a time and then I put them together and just used a clip just to hold it. Yeah. Um, I just found that a lot easier. Uh -huh. So that will be the next step that you do. And then you'll want to, um, once you've got your fabric like that, you'll want to fold a quarter of an inch down. On everything? On all of these. Right. So again, you want to try and remember to keep them in the same order. Okay, brilliant. I need to warn you, if you want the bundle, uh, there's only six left. Six of the bundle left. That's it. And I bet there's hundreds in baskets. 24 yes. in baskets, six left. And that noise you just heard outside was poppy. So they're obviously doing... Um, what was she being for today? She's been going on gems to do a, uh, to do. Oh, she's she again shouting down the corridor. <laughs> She'll be selling one of her pills on gems later on, or her lotions. She sells pills and lotions and all sorts of things. The um, oh yes. Other thing is obviously um, a quarter of an inch. If you're used to doing patchworking and everything like that, you'll be used to actually doing a quarter of an inch. Um, I started off by using add a quarter ruler just to double check that I was actually doing that um, the right size and everything. This has been invaluable to me now that I do a little bit more patchwork. Oh, yeah, exactly. So, big, so just a big ruler on its own. There you go. There's the big one on its own. Seventeen ninety nine. We do have on uh, available on, on today's of the two together, but the graphics I've got in at the moment, oh, it's just for that one on its own. Here's the multi-pack. It's cheaper to buy the multi-pack, basically, or more uh, affordable, not more affordable, the best way to buy, cheapest way to buy, 24 99 
can't iron over this, can you? No. You need to just use that to measure with Yeah, you. and I think, you know, once you've done a few, you're going to be doing 64 of these. Yes. Once you've done a few, you'll sort of get a rough idea. Got a customer photo as you asked for oh. them. Oh. I made this a couple of years ago and just love the pattern, loving the show from Pam in Banbury. That is beautiful. Look at the difference in the colours. Yeah. So she's gone from light colours. What's quite nice is to actually alternate. So you do a light and then a dark, yeah. light and then a dark. When you've got the instructions, you can do all this. Yes. Whatever, you like experiment to your heart's delight. Uh, did you say there was a second picture? Oh, my. Oh, my gosh. Well, there's your grey. Oh no! There's your grey and black. You like that, don't Marge, you? Marge, I love that. Now it looks di looks different. Very dramatic. Um, right, it's it different. Ends up as a hexagon, her. No, um, because she's used black for the corners. So if you look at my cushion, pick yeah. my cushion up. So where I've got those um, those ones in the corners, she's used black in those corners. Right. Oh, yes, I see it now. So she's used black here. Yep. In the corners there. Ooh. And if you look at the instructions, I thought, oh, these no, are... No, hang on. Hang on, I'm just looking at... The picture. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And if you, if you look at the instructions, yeah. you think, are they the right instructions? And yeah, why? Yeah, because that's just a definite star, isn't it? I know, but... Um, the reason why is that they've used, well, you can use the same colour for the triangles yes. as for the last um, the last piece of fabric. So oh, for, yes. for mine, I use the plain fabric, the dark fabric. Yeah. But um, for this one, so you can play around with the appearance, um, but it all, you know, is the same method mm -hmm. and everything. So... So I've done two blocks like this, so I've kept them all in the right order. So I don't know what I've done with So you do all 64 like that then? Yes, yeah. So again, this takes a little bit of time, but it's worth doing it properly. Lovely. So I'm just going to do another one like that, and then I'll show you how you assemble it onto the calico. Yeah. And then I've, in true Blue Peter fashion, I've done one, prepared one, and can show you about the folding. I still can't get used to that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so uh, with the graphics in the moment of the pattern on its own, I'm presuming the bundle sold out, has it? We'll just have to double check. Yeah, so the pattern, so you can't get blue now. The other two colourways are still available on their own, the panels on their own. Now, remember, if you buy the panels on their own, they don't come with the instructions. You need to buy the instructions as well. So whatever you buy now, you need to buy the instructions, whether you're going to use your own fabric or whether you're going to use our two panels, the red one or the black, the charcoal one. Uh, Lulu says, my, bought my daughter bought me tickets for my birthday, early present, driving up and staying in a hotel. Oh, lovely. Very nice. Very That's nice. the way to do it, yeah. isn't it? I'll be driving in the Saturday morning traffic to get there. <laughs> and it will be busy. I think there's other exhibitions on um, at the same time, so it will be busy. Yeah. But how fantastic to have everybody under the same roof. Because this is... This did we have one last Christmas? Did they have another Christmas fair, craft fair? We didn't, I don't think we did it last year, did we? I've been to one with my friend Dulcie, but I don't know if it was a Christmas one. But I seem to remember, I've been to one Christmas one because they had cheese there and cake <laughs> and things like that. And there's going to be a really, really lovely stand. There's a man who sells these like mosaic lanterns. He's going to be there as well, so. Yeah, yeah, we had a picture taken there when, when the, whichever festival that was we went to, yeah. Right, so I'm just going to turn the iron off. I shouldn't need the iron unless okay. I make a complete and utter mistake. Okay, before we go any further, two more photos. Uh, one more now, one more photo. Oh, oh what? Hi, John and Cara. Here's my folded star cushion. I did enjoy doing it from Pauline. Oh, isn't that lovely? And then Pauline's used the poppy for yes. her, her corners and for her last piece of fabric. Yeah. Lovely. That's, That's gorgeous, beautiful. Pauline. That's they there will be more coming up, there will be more, but we'll carry on with the folding or the pinning or whatever. <laughs> okay, um, what you can do, this is fab. Oh yeah, the June, Oh yeah. my gosh, so I've never used it. So you warm it yeah. and then you, which Crease. is, yeah, which is wonderful. So if you want to do your folding, but don't want to have your um, 
iron on you can do it with this yeah so. june taylor magic scene 113 99 it's got a beveled edge and a straight edge on it and you can use it cold or you can use it warmed against your iron okay yeah. so this is your base one so i found um personally this was the way i managed to do it mm -hmm. um so i'm going to tell you how i do it but other people might do and it you follow the instructions, so. i followed the instructions mm -hmm. Um, so I've got my fold, my first one. I'm keeping them in the right order. So I fold this in half and I just pinch the half at the top. I also pinch the half at the bottom. Right. Because I'm going to match that to the vertical line. And your oh, okay. the so folded edge yeah. is against the horizontal line. So you do the same with all of them. So pinch at the there and down there. And you're going to lay them about a quarter of an inch apart. So it's the folded edge and it's about a quarter of an inch apart. Right. So keep laying. So you actually must line it up with the raw edge of the fabric underneath, sort of thing, because if you yes. turn them over a quarter of an inch where that bit of fabric stops yes. is where you're, yeah. Yeah. So you've got your folded edge at the top and you'll just and I found it easier to lay them all down and if you have been pretty accurate yeah you will find the, the last raw edge should match the bottom yeah of your fabric I've just realized who the body build was it's um the guest on gems tv later I think he's called Yarny yeah well, I'll have to watch that <laughs> There we go. So you do that for one side and try and get that. Again, your um, adder quarter will help you with the placement, but you'll be able to feel yes, where, th yeah. where that um, yeah. fold is. And if you get to the last piece of fabric and find that you've got a gap, then you can move them around yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah. So. Just going to double check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, eight. Okay, so I'm just going to move things down slightly. So the bottom one should be level yeah. with the bottom of yeah. your of your ten inch. Has a square. guide, has a rough guide, and you can move the other ones just a little bit so you get that. Okay, mm -hmm. right. The next thing is is don't try and move this without pinning. So I pin at the bottom. So you want to go through the calico and through the fabric. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you've gone through both. And then this is just to hold it in position while you do the other side. Then take your pin and I pinned about the third or fourth one across just hold those in position okay. and it just means that you can move it and hopefully they won't move okay mm -hmm. turn that round if you've got a rotating mat that would help yeah okay right then you take your second bundle and you do exactly the same so we fold in half top and bottom match the folded edge to the horizontal line yeah and the fold there to the vertical line and this is where you don't really want to have a, a gap yeah at all so this is why if you're going to if it's the first time you've done it put a fabric that blends with yes. the first fabric so if yes. it does uh, happen to move then at yep. least you'll see that underneath it yeah yeah so you'll do this yeah for all of them I will show you how you attach it. Okay, Lo said I did one of these once. I was really proud of it. Kept pointing, saying I made that. <laughs> uh, now have a look at these pictures while you're pre putting those down. Have a look at these pictures. <gasps> I made this about two years ago. Found it very easy. Oh, Terry in Upfield. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the look quilt at the in the background. I know. Oh, and look at the colours. Look at the colours. Yeah. That, um, so that you know the colors just make such a difference yeah once you got the instructions you can yeah. create whatever colors you want with yours can't you oh look helen i made this as a gift for a friend i really enjoyed the technique oh they're lovely Beautiful. 
I see, I think they'd become addictive, wouldn't they, after a while? They, they do. I love the way she styled it with some threads and a tape measure. And, <laughs> and a sewing machine. And it's, what's that on the back? Is that um, uh, Mandy Shaw's uh, rag doll on the back wall? Looks like Doesn't it, it look like it, yeah. And her Janome machine. Yeah, next. Oh, yeah, advert for Janome there. Ne oh, what? Who are these from? Wow. They're lovely, aren't they? Look at the... Oh, I think they're really lovely. And you think, you look at them and you think, oh, I'll never be able to do that. Yeah. I'll never be able to do that. But you can. Yeah. You really can. Linda, they're from. Linda. Thank you, Linda, for sharing. Thank you all for sharing. Yeah. Instructions on their own. That picture, that last picture on the left hand side there has reminded me that um, I bought a shirt. Remember, I said I bought some new shirts the other day? And I bought one, I meant, I meant to wear it today because I'm on with Hannah today. And it's the same as the fabric, you know the fabric we have that's got the two reindeers and then two bears and then the two poss possibly things going like, it's the same as that fabric, right? And I meant to wear it today and I completely forgot about it. And that cushion on the left hand side just reminded me of it. So next time we're in together, I'll try and wear that. Uh, now, are they all in the right order? Of course. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> but... Um, it is quite important that you keep it yes, in the right definitely. order um, because it does help with the shape of the actual cushion. But right. also, also if you've got one in the wrong way, it means as you're going around your star, yeah. one, one point of your star will be a different colour, yes, won't it? Yeah? Yes, yes. Okay. Especially if you're using lots of different colours, so that's the other reason. Yeah. So I've still got my halfway mark, so I'm just going to, with a friction pen, I'm just going to draw a line and that's going to be my stitching line. Mm. So I'm we're going to stitch now. Yep. Oh wow. If you've got a walking foot, it does help. Well, if you bought the five seventy eight from us today or in the next hour, uh, it's coming free with the walk. The walking foot and the free motion foot come free as a gift. Right. Sorry if I've moved that in the wrong place, but no, I need don't to, worry. I need Charlie to reach find it. So I've got a walking foot here because eventually you're going to actually be going through yeah. a large number of fabrics. <laughs> Look how there's people shoving their hands above the door now. <laughs> you know we've still got the gap above the door. There's two people going like that. <laughs> no, so, I think they're builders talking about, I think we should have filled this gap, mate. They're most probably going to uh, close the gap. Let's so start I'm, hammering now. You work. So I'm just going to machine down that friction pen line right that will disappear you will choose a color that blends with your fabric right mine's slightly lighter so you can see it right but that went through beautifully so um and that was a large number hi john and cara i've bought the bundle now i've seen pictures of viewers cushions i'm thinking you could combine all three colors Ooh. oh yes carol lovely That'll be different. Please show us some pictures when you've done it. Yeah. Okay, so now I've put that machine line down. Right. I can take my pins out because that won't come apart. And what you'll do is... What did I do with mine? That's right, I had some um, clips here. Um, clips? <laughs> is you can actually fold these out of the way and I found it easier just to fold them in half and fold it out of the way. We've got the bag of clips, a hundred of them for fourteen ninety nine. A hundred, work it out, a hundred for fourteen ninety nine. They're made by Millwood, so you know they're good quality. That shouldn't be right, that's not right, is it? A hundred for fourteen ninety nine. Just saying. <laughs> okay. It's what? Fourteen pence a clip, apparently, Han Hannah says. Ben says, Oh, no, uh, Ben, we only have Yarn Lane on a Monday now, but yesterday it was on yesterday because it was their second birthday yesterday. Uh Joan says, I made these a project for my local uh, U3A patchwork and quilting group. It's beautiful. I don't know what U3A is. Um, or do you know what it is? Uh, I should do, but uh, yeah. Oh, okay. 
I've got another picture. Come on, Charlie. <gasps> pretty. Oh, I pretty, did this cushion. Pretty. I did this cushion after watching Sound Quarter a few years ago from Gwyneth in the Mumbles. Oh, is that lovely? I love the. Think of all the houses around the country that have got they've these. They've all got their beautiful um, folded star yeah. cushions around their house now. <laughs> I wonder if I've got one. I don't think I have. Mm -hmm. I think I thought Jane. No, 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 I thought Jane all got maybe one, but maybe not. Anyway. Okay. So once you've clipped those out of the way, yeah. Um, when you fold them back, you'll see that the calico rises up. You yeah. want to try and flatten the calico. Oh, okay. Because you don't want it to rise up. Right. And then you'll lay your next eight there. Turn that round. Lay your next eight there. Then clip these out of the way or pin them out of the way. Yeah. Draw a line and machine. Oh, okay, then. Okay. This is where you're going to jump, isn't it? Yes. So. so then when you've done that, you're going to be doing your diagonals. Right. So, so you do a cross. Up until you do east, west, north, south, and yeah. then you do the ones in between. Then you do the diagonals. Brilliant. Um, you just need to be a, just a bit careful that you keep your fabric nice and flat and that you match there in the centre yeah. as best as possible. Okay. Rather than watch me do all of that, I've actually prepped some um, before. Oh, University of the Third oh, Age. Oh, there you go. That's it. I, is that for people who are of a certain age who are learning new skills? Yes. and they Fabulous get, idea. They get together as groups yeah. and they have speakers come along or they go out for trips oh. or um, different things like Am that. Am I old they enough do. yet to do it? Yes. Oh, pff, yes. All right. I Don't get it so quickly. I certainly am. I well, certainly yeah. am. Yeah. It's 20 years difference between us, isn't I know. It? Yeah. Anyway, so get the one out that you've already done. <laughs> yeah. So this is the one I've already done. And you can see once you do your diagonals, you've got lots of fabric yeah. all over the place. So in fact, what I'll do is just keep these clips. I find these clips are really good. Or if you've got, is it the long quilting pins yeah, with the, yeah. the clothes? the flower on the flat, end. Yeah. yeah, we had those earlier in 8 o'clock. Yeah, yeah. Um, they would be useful. So so I've finished all my um, folding. So these, these are some of the diagonals you can see. So that's the diagonal there, and it goes over to that diagonal there. And that's where I've machined all the way across. And again, this diagonal here goes across that way. And then the verticals and right, the horizontals. Okay. okay. So what we need to do is start folding. And this is the thing that people are a bit, <gasps> okay. gosh. Okay. So you're going to actually fold always in the same direction. And do, it's there, just, do you have to start in any particular place? No. Okay. No, you can start wherever you feel like starting. Okay. Um, but you want to actually just put the fabric that you're not using out of the way so you can you can clearly sort of see I've already done some of the folding around there so I thought we'll spend some time and do a bit of folding here okay so you've got this section that you're going to be working to I hope you can see that okay so th we're, we're folding a half of one yes to the half of the yes. next one it's not the folding of the no. ones going down the middle right, no okay. no okay so what you'll do is you'll take your fold, folded piece of fabric. I'm right-handed, so I'm finding it easier to do my right side first, then my left side. Right, okay. You'll take your folded piece of fabric there, and you're going to tuck that down against that stitching yeah. there. Okay? Yeah. And this is where you can actually just run your finger down there, and you can fold that over. You don't want this as a sharp fold right but you want your fabric nice and flat okay okay then only for the first fold you're going to fold this back oh, okay. on itself against that seam again and again you can just put your finger down and put that like that lovely so the next one's exactly the same you fold to the seam then you fold it across yeah and then you fold it back right you only do that on the first one you only do that on your first one but you don't want those as really sharp points, which is why you're not going to be ironing. But yeah. you do want them to sit in that seam there. Okay. The next one, so your second one, you just fold the once against that seam and you fold it across. Okay. And hold it. Fold it against the seam, then fold it across. 
and you'll do three in total and pop a pin in. So we fold down and fold across mm -hmm. and fold down and fold across. And what you can do is just lift that up if it's not lying flat. And you can see you've got this lovely three-dimensional effect. So what we're going to do next, pop a pin in and hold that against the calico backing. And you're going to be stitching. So you're going to be stitching like a V, sorry, a funny shaped V. So it will go across there and up there. So we're going to start around this side and do that funny V. Don't worry how neat that is because it's not going to show. Right. Okay. So, and this is where the walking foot is good. Yeah, it's going through lots of layers. You will be, point, yeah. yes. So, and as I say, you want that fabric to lie nice and flat. So mm -hmm. if necessary, take your pin out and flatten that. Lift your foot up. And again, this is where this machine is just perfect. So we're going down there. I've used a light blue, but it doesn't matter. You can use whatever color you like, but hopefully you'll be able to see. And what I love is that you can just do the automatic cutter. Yeah. So you can see that there's this funny shape V. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. You carry on. So the right hand side, so that, that's literally just hold those in place so yes. it doesn't get complicated no. later. Yeah. So that goes and that's covered all your stitching. Fold it against the seam and then across and you're only going to do two before you stitch it. Oh, okay. So we fold that in and across and fold it in and across. Pop a pin in just to hold it in position. I'll draw with the friction pen again so you can see the stitching that I'm going to do. You'll come down here and then across here. Okay. And you just carry on doing that. Okay. And, and that's how you get your star. Okay. Another photograph. I made this our local <gasps> quilting group meeting a few years ago. Trish in Lincolnshire. Christmas. Is that Liberty Christmas? Oh, okay. I thought that, that outside so one looks pretty. So like pretty, but the green and the red together just looks lovely, yeah. doesn't it? It's very. Did you just bring that one out at Christmas then, Trish? <laughs> You'll be dusting it off soon. When did you put your Christmas tree up, Cara? When? Yeah. I'm not sure this year. Oh, okay. Um, because we've been invited to, my daughter's moved into her house. Oh. So we've been invited there. So um, we normally have what, a- the whole Christmas period? Yeah. Well, no, not the whole Christmas. But I said to her the other day, I said, oh, I'm not sure when we're getting our tree. And she went, you won't need a tree. You're coming to mine. Oh. So, but we normally have, um, oops, sorry. Uh, normally have uh, a real one. When, when are you putting yours up? Well, I don't have any indoors. Do you not? No, do you I, just... I normally just do the outside, do the garden about the 9th of December yes. and then um, take them down on Boxing Day. <laughs> so what do you um, put up? Every, it's different every year. So what are you, are we allowed to ask? Well, I haven't, I haven't bought any this year because I'm, I'm, no, no, not yet because I was thinking last year was the ho, 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 I had huge. Uh, Did you? Ho, ho, ho. Oh my gosh. The which one? Animatronic snow bears. I've never had those. I had, a, I had a light up nativity one year, but the shepherds never arrived. Oh, no. And the local farmer asked if I wanted sheep and a donkey for my front garden, a live one for my front garden. <laughs> uh, oh, I've had all sorts, but, and I had one of those things that you, you, it's like a thing you put in the mud and it projects up onto your house, all different snowflakes wow. things. This year, the only thing I found that I like this, I did have the year before that, I had this incredible, uh, like a, it was like a scaffolding with 13,000 lights on it in the shape of a Christmas tree and it looked incredible. Oh, don't, that's hanging in the garage because I can't untangle the wires. It's oh. just a, um, So this year, the only thing I've seen that I like so far this year is light up llamas. <gasps> you know, the ones with the blanket with the tassels going round and the little Christmas hat though. Not real llamas, not real llamas. 
So, but I don't know if I'm going to do that because we're supposed to be saving power, aren't we, this year? I might just oh, no. do candles this year, go out and light them every night. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Especially if you've got them in a glass yes, container exactly, or something yeah. like that. Um, we've got a tree out at the front that my husband covers in oh, hundreds and hundreds nice. and hundreds of lights. It's not a Christmas tree, yeah, but yeah. It, oh, it's just stunning, oh, absolutely stunning. Yeah. So we'll be doing that before Christmas. Okay. Oh, don't tell your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> She'll want one of hers. Yeah. Um, right. So. I've got, got to my last one, so every two folds, yeah. the first one is the three folds, yeah. then your machine, two folds machine, another two folds machine. And don't worry, this is all going to be covered, so it's just holding that in position, but you don't want the stitching to show. Yeah. Your last one, you'll fold and then fold over, fold. Oops, and it's so therapeutic. You just oh, yes, really get into this. And then just pop a pin because you're going to be covering that fabric with your triangle. Of course, yeah. So let's just get rid of these. Okay, shall yeah. I carry on? Yes, please. Okay. So as I say, it really is very therapeutic. So the first one, you fold in. Yeah fold across, so I'm using my right one first, then fold back on yourself. Hundreds of these patterns on their own have gone. So Make sure you check out your basket. Fold in, fold across, fold back. So that's just for that first one, okay? Yeah. It looks a bit funny until you start folding the next one. Yeah. So we fold to the seam, fold across, Fold to the seam, and you want to just pull slightly down. You don't mm -hmm. want to have that very loose. Yeah. You, want you also that don't fold. want to pull it too tight. Either, yeah. Do you? And you fold that across. And this is my third one. So fold to the seam, fold over, fold to the seam, fold over, and pop a pin in. Then we're going to machine that. So you just repeat that for each of those and yeah. you just follow on through. So I can imagine, you know, if you've got lovely fabrics in your stash. Oh yeah. Be really, really nice. So as I say, you want that fabric to lie quite flat. So take your pin out if necessary, fold that across. And then we just need to, you can see you've got loads of layers there so yeah, that's why the walking foot helps so we'll just go down you don't have to sew right to the edge it's just holding those folded fabrics in position so you working this christmas yeah I'm working on christmas day are you and then they originally asked me to work on uh, boxing day as well but um, the family weren't very happy about that. So I said no. But originally what I'd said was I'll work with today on Boxing Day, but then I have to have until the new year off. Right? Yeah. So I just presumed that's what would happen again, but it hasn't. So I'm having uh, Christmas Day, I'll be here. Christmas afternoon, I drive up north. Then I'm up north for my Christmas dinner on Christmas Day, Boxing Day, then come back the next morning because I'm back in here then in the days between Christmas and New Year. I did was working New Year's Day, but they've taken that off me now. So I don't know when I'm working then, but I am working in the bit between Christmas and New Year now. Are you so I'll just be gone for a day sort of thing. Yeah. Oh, are you working on the 27th? I presume so. Am I working on the 27th? I can't remember. I, I, it's, I'm, I I'm work, I, I, oh, hang on, no, 25th, 25th, no. Oh, that's when I'm coming. No, because that'll be the day I'm travelling back, because I've got the, my full day on the 26th up there, and I'll travel back on the 27th, and I'm most probably in here on the 28th, 29th, 30th, something like that. Hannah's just checking now. <laughs> yeah, I'm here on the 27th. You've got Rebecca Reed on the 20, All right, uh, uh, 27th. 27th, okay. I'm on the 28th with Hannah, and 29th, with Hannah, and then I'm in the 30th as well. Oh, okay, so I'm only doing two days during that week then. So at least you won't be cooking, you won't need to cook. So what do you normally have for your Christmas dinner? <laughs> Julie sends me the Marks and Spencer's food catalogue and says, pick what you want. And? And I pick that, so it's whatever they're doing that for their vegetarian Christmas that okay. year. Okay, and what did you have last year? Oh, I can't remember. Was that there last year? 
Was it COVID last year? Or was that oh, there last it was, year? No, 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 no. I was there. No, 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 no. I was there. Though. It was the year before yeah. that I, that you were allowed to go to someone's house, but you, could, you, know, you couldn't stay overnight. Yes. So it would have meant I'd been here, then I'd have to drive two and a half hours to the Wirral, eat my dinner, and then drive all the way home again. Oh. So I stayed home and I got egg and chips, and it was delicious. <laughs> Um, I can't remember. Right. It's always like all, like all the fabulous vegetables and, you know, kind of things like that. And then there's always a starter, like a sweet potato and spinach and... Oh, nice. You know, pine nut starter and something like that. Oh, you're getting hungry now. Are you getting hungry? Yeah. <laughs> right, so all I'm doing is just carrying on. So I'll do the centre one again and show you because I think that's the thing that people sort of think oh, how do I do it how do yeah. I do it but you can see how quickly it grows yeah no, brilliant got some metallic thread there um right so fold against the seam fold over fold against the seam and fold over and pin okay uh, when you all checked out over 150 of the uh, patterns have gone oh excuse me on their own So I don't want to... Oh, anything. look, it looks fantastic. I know. I want to try and get this, uh, this done. I can do one of the corners. I was going to say, you might just yeah. have to do one of the corners in yeah. this way because we've only got six minutes left. Do you want me to just... Finish that one? Yep. And then okay. we'll do a corner. Okay. It's just fascinating to watch it come together, oh, isn't it? Oh, it's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Now, you didn't... Starch your fabric. No, did you, I think it might have helped. Oh, okay, then. Yeah, so if you've got your spray Saffy, yeah. your June trailer starch Saffy, back in stock today. I've only ever had it here at this channel once before, and that was on with June Taylor and hundreds and hundreds, not June Taylor, Jill Rep, and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds sold. 9 99 Now, I remember when we, this is sewing quarter, I remember it being 13 99 I'm afraid. I don't know why it's at this price. Was it that price with Jill when she came in? I'm wondering if they did a special deal for it first time back and they've just left that price on. Because look how much you can pay for it elsewhere. On the Long River, it's £17.45. Now, it made us check that the, it was the right same size or the same thing. It is the same thing, right? We found it normally about 13, 13, 14 pounds, which is why I, when I when prepped this morning, I went, oh yeah, that's 13 99 isn't it? And I was like, no, it's 9 99 I said, you're wrong, Hannah. You're so wrong. Happens a lot, you're wrong. But no, 9 99 I take advantage, because I think when they find out upstairs, because I know when, well, I just know that's, that's, a, that's a really, really, really good price. And the thing is, it will last. Oh, yes, it? yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, and yeah um, you only want, need one spritz for something like this because all you're doing is just crisping the fabric, isn't it? You're not adding loads and loads and loads to starch it like you do a collar or a front of a shirt or something like that. And I spritz it before I cut it, obviously. So if you just give it a quick spritz, yeah. it's all done, isn't yeah. it? That fan's got louder in the gallery again. So all the instructions have got all the information about how to finish it. Yeah. But I want to try and get to the corner. Yeah, brilliant. At least I've got one of the corners ready that I can Fantastic. show you. So you can see how quick it is. Yeah. You know, once you've done it. I think it, it'll be the cutting out that takes yes. the time, isn't it, really? Well, but like most projects, isn't it? Yeah. Well, lovely gift to give somebody, though, wouldn't be a cushion oh, I know. like that. Well, it's just fascinating. I found mm. it fascinating thinking, how? How did that work? I'm surprised you haven't done one before. No, I've done the, um, do you remember the other folded one that I did, which was, um, I thought it was a folded star, but it wasn't a folded star. Um, and what that was, was a massive one. What was it if it wasn't a star? It was, um, it was star shape, but it wasn't this technique. Oh, okay, okay. No, right, it was a right. um, completely different technique. But it was lovely as well. Again, just completely different. Loads of coming in for these instructions. 9.99 they are. Karen, uh, hello both. Great demo, Cara. Enjoy Thank watching you. despite being really poorly after flu and COVID just. Oh. oh, Karen, I, I don't want to sound blase. I was fine after both of mine. 
So I didn't have them together. I had the one one week in the doctors and then the, the COVID one the week after in the hospital. All I had was like just a bit of a sore and where Steve had gone like that with his needle. I, I had both on the same day and I was fine. Oh, I had both on the same day last year, but this yeah. year I had, two, I had to go to two different places. Yeah. Yeah. As you say, it was just a sore arm. Yeah. Oh, but some people I know do, do React, suffer. Yeah. yeah. But I just thought, you know, you just want to protect yourself as much Have as possible. Have you had yours, Hannah? Okay. No, oh no, you're not old enough yet, are you? <laughs> Yeah. Um, oh, and also you only had the third one recently, didn't you? Um, but are you fine after them then? Or do you have a fun... No, you see, Hannah, um, body reacts to them as well. Really? Yeah. OK. OK, let's see the corner very quickly then. OK, so um, you have two five-inch squares yeah. and you cut them in half. And this... Diagonally, obviously. Diagonally, yes. Yeah. Um, this, so this is going to be going over here. Right. OK, but you want your... Because it's on the bias, just be careful when you fold it. Yeah, which is where your starch savvy would come in handy because it wouldn't stretch yeah. then. So um, you want the raw edges to meet in the corner. Right. And the fold for the seam that you're going to be stitching is really, if you can, just fold it. And it will vary depending on, um, you know, how you've done. Done your folding, yeah. yeah. You want to cover so that you come to the points there right so it just means a little bit and then when you've done that in fact I could oh is that's not on is it no <laughs> right I'm just going to use it as yeah, it yeah, is yeah. and what you can do you can just fin finger press it yeah. is across there like that and just fold that back right and pop a pin in in fact i'll take the pin from underneath to hold that do the same the other side and you can see it's not the same right. either either side fold it back again yeah. just to double check it and then i'm just going to machine across Oh, the fold, yeah. Yeah. Not the fold, the, the crease that you've made. Yeah, yeah. the crease. Yeah. Okay, there's 50 of you got these instructions in your basket you need to check out. And did you say another picture show while Cara shows that? Oh, just editing. Well, not editing. That sounds like we're changing the picture. Puts it into a frame. Pamela, I sent this one in. Oh, Whoa. look. Oh, have we seen, have we seen those? No. Oh, 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 no. no Lovely. Yeah, it's funny because the two on the left are the same colour weight that other lady did, wasn't it? That, Similar, yeah. I don't know why we've got press full. At the, what's that grey thing at the top? <laughs> Thank you, Pamela. Oh, stop, Charlie. It's there because he didn't have time to, to edit it because I asked for it too quickly. <laughs> You're not supposed to answer back, Charlie. Yeah, especially when you're 14. Lucky to be here. <gasps> I can hear they're having a raucous time. Well, it's because there. Hannah's discovered that Charlie looks like a Lego man. No. So she's now said, put your, take your grumpy Lego head off and put your happy Lego head oh. on. So this, again, would be when you would press but i wouldn't press the whole thing no not until you've done no. all or, or would you would you wait till you've done all the corners i wouldn't even press it i don't okay. think yeah um because as i say you know you look at the one I, I might have pressed that one but not a sharp yeah i did i steamed it but not a sharp um lovely yeah right you hope let me just recap then so that's it. So hang on. So you've done the four corners. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to. Okay. Yeah, so you do all the four corners and then you follow the instructions. You trim it down, follow the instructions, um, add the borders and just build the cushion up. But the thing is, you could use it, if you know, you could add it into a tote bag. You don't need yes. to make a cushion. Once no, you've not mastered at all. that, yep. you can make that into whatever you want to make yep. it into, couldn't you? You certainly can. Brilliant. Right. Bundles. No big bundle left. The big bundle's completely gone. 
Instruct, instruction on their own, 9.99. Over 200 have gone now. Over 200 have gone now. 50 people got in their baskets. You do need to check out. The folded star instructions, all the pictures, all the writing, everything you need in there. Plus this demo you can watch back on YouTube or on our website for a week. Nine pounds and 99 pence for the pattern, a pattern on its own. The big bundle of all three has gone. Have I got any of these left? Instructions, yeah. Charcoal, right, now remember, you um, don't get the instructions with the panel, you have to buy them separately. So this is just the panel here for 14, 14 99 Now saying it, I was thinking that's too cheap, but 14 99 for the charcoal panel. And then we've got the red panel, which makes this one. It's like a, a maroony uh, red. There you go. Beautiful. Right. Now, please, please, please make sure you check out on the instructions. Oh, and Calico, if you want to get some Calico for the one behind. So the instructions are $9.99. Thank you, upside down. And then the Calico here, $2.79 for half a metre. Now, you don't, I, I shouldn't say this being a shopping channel. You don't need to buy this for it. As long as you've got a 10-inch square of fabric behind it. But the Calico is a really lovely, st stable fabric to build on. What you don't want to do is use something flimsy like a voile or a poplin. Because as you saw with Cara's, it kind of folded up a bit when you started putting on. If you've got Calico, it's a nice, stable background for it, isn't it? $2.79 for half a metre. Right, and uh, hundreds of those have sold today. Hundreds. I'll do some more of that in the next hour, actually, because I've got a sewing machine for the next hour. Cara, thank you very much indeed. That's quite all right. I need to wish you a happy Christmas, so because I oh, won't so see everybody. So, so you're not in a... Well, no. where are, oh, because it's November, so that's yes. your December day, yes. isn't it? Oh. So happy Christmas, Oh, you're everybody. the first person to have to Sorry. do that. No, 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 it's nice. <laughs> oh, well, have a lovely Christmas. Oh, and you. And your daughter. And you. And don't let her do you make... It, don't... Get invited around and have to do all the cooking. No, and she's told us we can't have turkey. She's doing a chicken. Oh. Oh, do you know what? I turn up with my own turkey. Well, I am thinking. And like Janice, who that year that she was going to her daughter's, remember she bought two turkeys, then didn't go to her daughter's and ended up having two turkeys. And then the people are like, we're vegetarian, we don't want a turkey. That's another story. Right, don't go anywhere. Go not go anywhere. You'll see Cara after Christmas. You'll see me in four minutes when I've got sewing machines and all sorts of gorgeous things to go with them. Make sure you check out your baskets on these patterns. I'll see you in four. We're going. We're going. But we're going. We're, we're all going. going. To the Creative Craft Show at the Birmingham MEC from Thursday the 3rd to Sunday the 6th of November. We'll be bringing goodie bags, a tombola, and a chance for you to meet your favourite guests and presenters across all channels. Not to mention the opportunity to shop and to be inspired by some of the best crafting brands around. And because we're going, you can get discounted tickets of up to 40% by using the code BIRMINGHAM40. And logging on to creativecraftshow.co.uk. So, come and meet the family. Between the 3rd and 6th of November at the Birmingham NEC. At the Creative Craft Show. See, See you there. there. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting, and of course, applique, which is my favorite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. 
head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. of Sewing Street, why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Right, now make sure you check out on this because hundreds of you come in during the break. You need to check out now because I'm on to limited stock for today. We'll have it again. Obviously, we'll get it again, but I don't know when. It's been quite a while since we've seen it. Oh, hold there. At 9 99 the instructions, please make sure you check out. I don't want anyone to miss out. Okay, right. So this hour is sewing machines and other bits and bobs and goodies. Now, last week before I went, uh, well, I didn't have a holiday, when, before I went off for my weekend or whatever, um, I wasn't on at the end of the month. And I said, these deals will finish at the end of the month, right? So a 680 deal. Right, the 680 deal has finished, right? The 680 deal has finished. We have got a deal 
but it's a different deal but it has finished the deal that you knew last week has finished this is the 680 deal that's available right oh, there it is there hang on sorry i've just come out shocked because my gloves are dirty there it is so what you get is you get a free cutting mat and a free uh, ruler worth 57 pounds 20. so that's what you get with that deal and i'll be talking about that machine later because it is the machine that i use that i bought that i love that i've got at home um but right, keep on that just one second. Just need to. I've got something on my glasses during the break. Right now, these. So that deal is still is is going, but that's not the deal that was around last week. However, the five fifty five sixty five seventy deal, they haven't taken off the thing. So we thought, you know what? We don't care. We're just going to go with it because what you get if you buy any of these machines, the five fifty, the five sixty, or the five seventy, you get a gift. Hmm. Yeah, we get a gift, right? Um, oh yeah, this will stop this week because Jane's in. Is it tomorrow she's in? She's come, Jane's coming in, not necessarily to be on air, but she's coming in to talk about the machines and everything. She'll have us like, what are you doing giving that free gift away? Because they've supplied these. We haven't supplied them, they've supplied these, right? So if you buy the 550, the 560 or 570, today, I don't know how long it'll last for because as soon as they realize we're doing it, someone's bound to put a spanner in the works. You get a free walking foot and you get a free free motion foot worth 75 pounds this is 54 pounds on its own or 50 pounds on its own so that there is worth 75 pounds and you get that's a gift now it will come oh crikey did you see it that time it crackled that time we, we, we have to say something to charlie now because i'm getting a bit worried about this light here it's been going on for ages but it's really that was a crackle it actually made a noise um these come completely free. Now they will come from Elna with your sewing machine, right? They, you know, normally when there's a free gift, it comes from us. It all comes from Elna. The sewing machine and the gift comes from Elna. Now I need to tell you that all three of these machines come with a two year warranty. They're all in stock at the moment at Elna in Stockport. Um, oh, I was about to say, don't put the graphic because I'm going to start at this end up here. Right, so each of them comes with a table, a table and a hard case, right? They all come with that. that I'll show you a slide in a minute that they all come with, right? Can, can you get rid of that? Thank you. Because I just want to explain before you check out on anything, what, what the differences are in the machines and the difference in prices, because we've got three different machines. They've all the same, they're all basically the same machine, right? The 550, the 560 and the 570A. They're all the same uh, engine, motor, casing everything like that all it is, is as you got the numbers you get a little bit more for your money so what i'm going to say to you is now don't check out on any of these yet until you've heard what all three have got to offer right so the, the it's like the the baby bear the mummy bear and the daddy bear in the, in the goldilocks story and everything let me start with the 550 so this one here, it, I was going to say it's the most basic machine, but it's not basic at all, right? I wouldn't say this is an entry level um, sewing machine. It's, it's if you have been doing sewing, you've borrowed someone's sewing machine, you've been using your mums or your sisters or your brothers or anyone or your friends, and you're thinking, do you know what? I really, really, really want to carry on with my sewing journey now, and you're quite serious about it, then the, I, wouldn't, if, I wouldn't buy this. I wouldn't spend £549. This is me being totally honest to you. I wouldn't spend £549 thinking, oh, I may do some sewing, I may not, because I know what I'm like. I'll get, start a hobby and then go, actually this isn't for me i don't want you to do it if you do that i only want you to do this if you're now moving on to the next journey and you really 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 want a reliable hard working sewing machine so this is your five uh, this is the 550 again you get the 75 pound present with it so you get that you get the two feet with it and everything it's 549 pounds you pay 183 pounds three times so you pay one first november first december oh no first, first week of november first week of december first, it'll be paid for in january be all paid for in january um it's also interest free now i'm going to cover this right now before we go any further none of our split pays have interest on them and now as i drove in this morning i don't know if it's happened while i've been on air as i drove in they said on the news there's going to be the biggest interest uh, hike the Bank of England are going to announce the biggest interest rise hike they've been since 1983 or something like that. So now, if that's the case, I don't, I'm not trying to worry anybody. Don't worry any of you. 
It means if you bought that on your credit card, say you bought that on your credit card, £549, and you thought, oh, do you know, I'll pay £183 each month. You're going to pay way more. You're going to pay way more than £549 for it. If you buy it from us, even with the interest rates doing what it does. Now, I don't know how that works for us because we must be paying in. Do you know what I mean? I don't, I don't know how it works. But anyway, we do not charge you any interest whatsoever. So it means that if you bought it today, even if the interest rates are up to 20% or something, you'd still only pay three payments of £183 because there's no interest charge whatsoever. So in that way, you can budget, can't you? Because it's like, well, like gas and electricity, isn't it? You think, oh, this is how much I pay for my gas and electricity every month. But who knows what it, where it's going and it's different and you keep getting emails saying it's going to be this, it's going to be that, or it's going to be this, it's going to be that. This can't change. This cannot change. So if you buy, if you, you can pay for £549 today, but I know with Christmas coming up, we're all trying to spread our payments, aren't we? So if you want to spread your payments, that will not change. That will be £183 three times. Now, the only thing that could be different is if you've not bought anything else today, you need to add your £3.95 postal packaging to the first payment. But that's all, that's all. It comes directly from Elna. Uh, they will get an email tonight to say you've bought one and then they will set the wheels in motion. So what day of the week are we say Thursday? So you'll get it at the beginning of next week, middle of next week. That's when you'll get it. Uh, the other thing about Elna is they have the most brilliant customer service team. So if you get stuck, I don't think, oh, I've got a stupid question. I can't ask, I can't ask. I can't. You can. You can ring them and you can ask and they won't think that your question is a silly question. They're so helpful. So that's that. Right. Now, what it is about the 550 is it like I say, you get the same machine on all of them. But this one here, if you look at the front of the machine, what you get here is you get your needle up, needle down, your locking stitch, your reverse stitch there at the beginning, the end of a thing. And then if you don't want to use the foot pedal, you can start and stop it from there. Across here, you've got how you choose your stitches. And then you've got your stitch width and your stitch length there. And you've got shortcuts to four different stitches there. It has 50 built-in stitches on this one. There they all are. Charlie. 50 built-in stitches. So there you go. So you've got your utility stitches, your straight stitches, your buttonhole stitches, your stretch stitches, your overedge stitch, like an overlocking stitch, and some satin stitches and some decorative stitches. 50 stitches built in. Right, over this side, you've got your... Um, uh, bobbin that you fill from the top you've got a needle threader you've got the buttonhole uh, when you're doing a buttonhole and you can move the needle from left to right on there so all of that is 549 pounds 183 three times if you're thinking that's lovely john uh, what's the next one right i always feel bad with this thing oh let me put that on the floor actually i always feel bad because this is the one helen newton's got she's got the 560 right right Look at the price of the 560. Now, what the, you get quite a bit of difference, but the price of this one is, I think it's 619. Yeah, 619. For an extra 30 pounds, you can upgrade to the seven, uh, 570A, which I'll tell you about in a second. This is a gorgeous machine though. Same thing, but this time you've got your thread cutter. This time uh, you've got more buttons on this side here. You've got your thread cutter there, your memory thread cutter, and you get a hundred stitches in this one. A hundred stitches built in on that one. So again, there you've got your decorative, your satin stitches there. You've got all your uh, stretch stitches, your buttonholes, your eyelet stitch, your straight stitch, your quarter inch stitch and everything like that. In a minute, I'll tell you all the feet that you get with these machines. Because you get, a, the minute this arrives, as long as you've got a reel of cotton and a piece of fabric, you can start sewing straight away. It's that easy to use, right? That easy to use. Remember, it comes with a two-year warranty as well. So if anything goes wrong within that two years, you can just ring um, Elna and they'll sort it for you. So this one here, 619 pounds or split pay 206.33. Again, no interest charge whatsoever. You can spread it out over your three payments at 263 and you know that bottom figure will never change no matter what the bank of england does no matter what the government does you will not pay any more money than that and i know it's worrying times but if you're gonna get so do you know what if you're gonna start making money by doing sewing 
If you're going to make money by doing sewing, you've got a reliable sewing machine like this and you start running things up, doing craft fairs or doing alterations for people and things like that. You want a really, really good machine that's going to pay for itself, don't you? Now, I love this machine. Let's say Helen Newton's got it. But if you can afford to buy this one or if you're going to invest in this one, please think wisely because you might want the 570A, right? Because if I bring the graphics of the 570A in, the reason it's got the letter A on the back, apart from the fact you get 200 stitches on this one, right, 200 stitches. So you've got, look at all those buttonholes, look at all the stretch stitches, look at all the utility stitches there. You get 200 built, look at all those lovely satin stitches there, 200 built-in stitches, right? You also get alphabets on this one. So for 30 pounds more, you get 100 extra stitches and you get your alphabets, right? So that's an awful lot for an extra 30 pounds. Again, you've got your three split payments of 216.33. That will never change. You've got your two year warranty. It's only 395 to have it delivered to your house, remember? Now, if you've already bought something today, maybe you came in and bought, I can't remember what the early bird was. It was so long ago. Thread magic. So you came in and bought thread magic, right? That big at eight o'clock, right? Paid you 395 post matching. This is covered now. This, if you've bought anything else, you don't need to buy any more postage. It's all in your day's postage. Now, the reason I love this machine is have a look at the front here. So what you've got here is you've got your locking stitch, you've got your needle up, needle down, you've got your thread cutter, you've got your go faster, go slower. This is where you choose your stitches. This is your stitch width and your stitch length here. These are shortcuts to different stitch, because that's just a shortcut there, straight to a buttonhole. That's a shortcut there to your over edge stitching, right? But you also have on this one, I'll just clear that. You also have a memory that you can add so it will cut the thread after you finish each time. Now you must be wondering, what's this mode here, John? Well, you've got mode one, which is your first 100 stitches. You've got mode two, which is second 100 stitches. Mode three, oh, press the wrong button. Mode three, which is your first alphabet. And then mode four, when all the buttons go on, is your Cyrillic and other alphabets there as well. So you've got all of that there, all in, all in the system. Right, I need to tell you what feet you get with these, because you get the same feet with all three machines. Right, the same feet with all three machines. So this is what you get here. Uh, oh, blimey, that's a bit small today. Has it gone smaller, that picture? Oh, no, it's because I'm normally standing at this table, isn't it? You get your standard for A. You get your... It's all blurred on my telly. It's not my eyes. It's all blurred. Don't worry. Satin stitch F, over edge foot C, zipper foot E, blind hem, quarter inch foot, automatic buttonhole foot with a stabiliser plate. Then you get bobbin, seam, ripper, ripper, all those extra bits and bobs. Come, well, you can see them all there in the picture there. They all come with it. Now, each of the machines have different technical features, I've already told you. So the 550 has 50 stitches. The 560 has 100 stitches. The 570A has 300 and... I can't see the number. Oh, it's just 300. No, it's more than that because it's 180, 180 in the thing. Must be 380, that number there. Out, you get, you get the alphabet there. Then you've got your one-step buttonholes on them. You get three on the 550, seven on the 560, and 12 on the 570A. Your stitch combinations, you get 50 of them on the 570. 380 stitches, thank you, 380 stitches. Then you've got your maximum stitch width of a seventh, and you've got your maximum stitch length of a five, and you've got 15 needle positions. Have we got the alphabet for the 570A? Okay, let's have a look. What, what else have we got then? Okay, we're just having it. Okay. Yeah, we'll do this one first. That's all the 570A, that one. Oh, no, they're down the bottom there. You've got your thread cutter yeah, on the 560 and 570. Um, but they're all of your technical features. I can't show you the alphabet at the moment because we seem to have lost the alphabet um, slide, which is fine. But it, it comes in big letters, little letters, and you've got Celeriac as well. Um, but the price you can pay for the 570, I'm going to go back there now. But while, while under this slide, have a look at this, right? That is now, if you can do it yourself, we haven't gone to look for the most expensive one, but 
Just, just can't go into the five, seven, oh. Hang on. There you go. Go, El, you can do it yourself. You can, you can Google Yahoo or Bing, the Elna 517. Make sure it's the A with the alphabet, 739 pounds. Now, most of the ones we found, I'm not saying we're the only people that sell it for this price, but most people sell it for that price, right? Um, so if you think that's 90 pounds saving already, Plus, we're giving you £75 worth of freebie gifts. That's £165 worth of saving. So if you're thinking about getting it for a Christmas present for somebody, because it'll be with you next week. Be ready with you next week. Getting it for a Christmas present, even if you buy it for a Christmas present for yourself, right? There's £165 saving there, because already we're £90 cheaper, and we're adding £70. Now, I don't know how long that £75 gift will go on for, and I'm not, I'm not doing any... I'm not adding any due pressure. I really don't know because it shouldn't be there now because we were told in the email in no uncertain terms it finished on the 31st of October. Hannah did question it this morning. Hello, John. Do you know how much the L on the 578 weighs, please? Six and a half kilos. Six and a half kilos it weighs. Looking for a good machine that's not too heavy to take to classes. This is a brilliant one to take to classes because it's a really sturdy, lovely machine. It's got the hard case. And when you put the hard case on, I can show you actually, When you put the hard case on, look, the handle of the machine comes up in the gap. So look, it's really easy. I'm sure it's six and a half, isn't it? I'm sure it's six and a half kilos. We'll double check for you, but I'm sure it's six and a half kilos. Um, uh, but it is a really, really good one to take to your classes and everything. But please do, if you're thinking about it, please do Google it, Yahoo it, Bing it. You can go anywhere and see reviews for it. We've got FIFUs for it all over the place. In fact, our fee I don't show them now, but our FIFUs for this, we've got so many. Oh, John, I couldn't tell you how brilliant it is. Margaret's got one, Kate's got one. So many people have got them and they just say it helps their sewing journey. Now, as I say, all the three machines are the same basic machine, the same motor, the same engine. It's just that as you go up, you get more. I just think if you're thinking of the 560 and you've got 30 pounds more, if you're buying it for yourself and you say to somebody, oh, can I have my Christmas present? Just give me 30 pounds in cash. That will pay for your upgrade. And for the upgrade from the 560 to the 570, you get so much more for that 30 pounds. And remember, you get your 75 pound um, gift. Oh, there you go, approximately six and a half kilograms. I knew, I knew you got that stuck in here somewhere. They keep saying it's like the size of a big cat. Yeah, I can't, my cats are much heavier than that. Uh, anyway, six, uh, this is a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant machine, I can't tell you. Please, can you tell me, does the 570A need oiling? Right, Sheila, it's really weird because I've never, I've never had to oil my uh, 680. I don't think you do need to oil it, but questions like that, to be on the safe side, is just ring Elna, and they'll be able to tell you straight away. I think, does it not come with, um, I can't remember if it comes with a little, um, does it come with a little bottle, this one? I can't remember. But I've, about all the people I've spoken to, they don't oil their machines. They, they have them serviced, but they don't oil them themselves. So, but if you, if you want a definitive answer to that, ring the call centre at Elna, and they'll be able to tell you straight away. You might even get Lucy Brennan to answer the phone. I know. It's a, I can't tell you how brilliant this machine is. And I've got the 680 at home, which I'll be showing you in a second. But um, if I didn't have the 680, I think I'd be going for this one. Or if I was getting a second one. Somebody messaged in earlier, didn't they, and said, I want to get this one for my classes. This is brilliant for classes because it's a fantastic, sturdy machine. But if you also take it to classes or have it at home, it's a brilliant machine. And you've got your extension table, as you saw earlier, with Akari used the extension table earlier. So it's £649, split pay, 216 33 I know. Right, Joe. Now, what I, I promise for next time, I'll definitely, we'll get the alphabets for you up for you. Right. Oh, hang on, she's, she's got a sewing machine in the hand, Shirley, at the moment. Okay, poor cat's carrying the 680 round and she's doing the, uh, doing the computer, that was that thing called camera at the same time. We can do some needle bundles. Yes, of course we can. The big one first. So this one's got eight box packets of needles. There you go. Eight packets of needles there. You've got top stitch quilting ballpoint, jean sharps leather embroidery universal. And we're taking some money off for you. 1999. Now, is this the one 
that goes with Rebecca Reed's stitch thing. Yeah, they fit in her set. Oh, okay then. Well, she can, you can fill, but you fill most of the... But she's mostly only got one more, has she? Yeah, and she's got an empty pop, and she's got an empty pocket, and she for the ones you're not using. But anyway, they fit in there. So top stitch, quilting, ballpoint, jeans, sharps, leather, embroidery, universal, universal for every day, embroidery. Nineteen ninety nine, nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Always brilliant to have these at home because uh, the other night, actually, the other night I was sewing my bead bag, and my needle fell out just dropped out I don't know why and I thought oh just get a new needle could I find the new needles anywhere no couldn't 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 so I just put that one back in but it's always be good to be ready or if you're suddenly doing something or, or you want something a bit sharp or you do some leather no point starting the project then go oh I haven't got a leather needle I've got to go to the shop to order some this way they're there in your box and at 19.99 or if you know somebody in your family that does a machine tone nice little Christmas present isn't it for 20 pounds 19.99 you're going to use all of them because you don't have to do embroidery with the embroidery one. You know what I mean? You don't have to do jeans with the jeans one. The jeans ones are really, really good for top stitching as well. Ballpoint, obviously, for your stretch. So that one there, did I see a stretch? Have we got another one? Oh, no. So that there for your stretch, that there for your quilting, that there for your top stitching. Leather, obviously, don't use leather on anything but leather because it's got like a, like a pointed end, like a faceted end. Sharps, really, really sharp, longer, longer shank. Then you've got your jeans needle, university, and your embroidery needles. 19.99. Gorgeous little bundle to have that one. Okay, so that's my first bundle. Smaller bundle of four now. Go to, so yeah, these are, these are the four that you're going to use most of, I would say. So you've got your universal, you've got your sharps, you've got your jeans, and you've got your stretch. Stretch, obviously, is a ball pointy needle, isn't it? Now, hang on, is the stretch the ball pointy? Is the one that's um, to go through? And it's two-way stretch, particularly those containing light gray. Yeah, there you go. So there's your packet of four, £10.49. Ten pound forty nine for four packets of jean needles, uh, 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 machine needles. It's going to fit your uh, all your machines. It's going to fill all, fit all machines. Ten pound forty nine. Ten pounds and forty nine pence. Oh, quick reminder. Folded star instructions. Oh, about to sell out, about to sell out. So if you've got them in your basket, you do need to check out. There's over 40 people in baskets, but not enough patterns for that 40 people. There you go. Yep. Universal needles on their own, 2 99 Other needles are on the website, are on the website on their own, if you want them. So machine bags, got the, oh, I love this bag. Barry, the book buyer bought this. I don't think you need to use it as a sewing machine. He didn't buy it, he brought it in for you. Like he didn't buy one to take home with him. He's not got a sewing machine. Uh, we love this, 29.99. It's a really big, now, obviously you're not going to fit a 680 in there. You can definitely fit the, the um, brother in there. I'll just check if you can fit one of these. I'm sure you can. Oh, easy. There you go. Look how beautifully that fits in. I've just put the five, well, it doesn't matter because they're all the same size. 550, 560, 570 will all fit in there with enough room for your extension table. Uh, there's an, oh, I've, I've opened that side. So that's your sewing machine in there. No, I'd like it as a weekend bag or a crafting bag. Then on this side here, which is the picture Charlie's just shown you. You've got all your see-through pockets in there for all your tools and your, or maybe your feet you're carrying with you or utensils. Uh, big pocket on that side there. Then oh, you've got your stretchy pocket at the end there for your threads on both ends there. It's just a really, really lovely bag, isn't it? 29 99 Again, brilliant Christmas present. 
But remember, it won't fit anything bigger than the 565, 70, 555, 65, 70 in. You can't get the 680 or any of the, the bigger machines in there. The brother will fit in there. I said that, yeah, the brother will fit in there. In fact, the brother will have even more in because that's even smaller, isn't it? And you get the strap with it as well, look. With the padded shoulder thing me bob brilliant i love it i think that bag's fantastic okay so we've got that one we also have these bags as well this is the most affordable sewing machine bag that we do do i've got it in purple and i've got it in aqua so you're doing the purple one there you go so again on the front there you've got your pocket for your feet and your wires or your cables and everything and then inside here Oh, something's gone very horribly wrong with my earpiece and oh, with yours as well. Oh, okay, you haven't come off comms. We've, we had a... Ooh, like that. Anyway, look, inside here. There you go. The sewing machine will fit in there at 15.99. He's taken us off, but we can still hear him. 15.99. Beautiful. That's your purple one, your black and purple one. Most affordable one we do do. Then we have it in the aqua. Same thing. I'm not going to open this one. Just show you again. Uh, oh, turquoise, they've called it. Turquoise. More like a minty green, that, than a turquoise, isn't it? $15.99. Ideal for Christmas presents. Beautiful. Now, if you want to go to luxury of luxury bags now, now I'm going to show you, I've put them both on the table together. There's, there's the large one. Here's the smaller one. That's not small though, but there you go. There's, there are the difference in sizes, right? Right, large is limited, so I'll do that one first. So, the way this works, let me show you. The bag comes off, oh, ah. Right, the, ba the bag has got a lock on the bottom here. Oops, hang on. Right, let me show you. Okay, so this is the large one, right? Right, so this you see here, it's got the flap on the bottom here. I'll just get Kat to show you that. That goes through a flap on the bottom of your bag. So you can fix your bag so nobody can pick your bag off and run away with it. You see, so there's a strap on the bottom of the bag there. You see there's a strap on the bottom of the bag there that slides over this bit here which means that you then clip that down and the way you unclip it is you press that little button at the bottom there there's just two left of these now right but then look at this if you want to store it away this goes down then this folds like that so if you put it under your bed or under the stairs somewhere like that Look how easily that folds down. You can even store that inside the bag if you wanted to, couldn't you? Um, also, it comes with clips up here. So if you've got that bag on and you want to clip your handbag or another or um, a computer bag or something like that on, you can clip another bag on up there as well. It's got really, really, really sturdy wheels. But look inside the bag. Now, this will fit all of your big machines in this one. But literally... Look how well padded it is. Look how your machine is going to be cosseted in there. It's also got a so well, apart from this, there's a padded bottom, it's also got a hard bottom on there as well. So it's really, really supportive of your whole, of your whole um, uh, sewing machine. You've got uh, handles on the side. If you need to pick it up, you've got a heavy machine in there and everything. That's the great big one, and it's 74 pounds 74 pounds and 99 pence. That one's too big for you exactly the same sort of design but this size now you can fit again your 550 560 570 in here you can fit so much in here they're exactly the same but they're just different size different size that's all again it's got the flap on the bottom to attach the bag to it's got the strap on the back there to make sure that it attaches here so it's not going to fall away as you as you drive you know what a lot of ladies do is they take go to festival of quilts with these they take the padding out and they use it as their shopping trolley and fill it with all their goodies from the um for the festival of quilts things but if you go in for a, a retreat weekend away you can fit all your sewing goods in there couldn't you that one's 59.99 
If you go to the website and look at other details, you'll see the actual physical measurements of each of them, rather than me standing here measuring it for you now. 59.99. Oh, there you go, there you go, look. So you've got the external sizes and the internal sizes on there. Brilliant. Oh, now these are brand new. These were brand new last week when Claire came in, right? So you might have seen them, the clamp lamps before, but you've not seen these because what happened was Claire always tries to take on board what you say, right? And one of the, not criticisms of the, I've got the, I've got the, the regular clamp lamp, was that people wanted more light on them. So what she did, look, I love the way you can just have these. She, right, this is the black one, right? Look, she's doubled the length of the, it's not called a bulb when it's an LED, is it? But the light source, she's doubled the length of that. The original ones were 15 centimetres. These are 30 centimetres. That's how you switch it on and off, look. You literally just press the end like that. If you keep your finger on the end, dims down. Put your finger on the end brightens up again and then switch it off like that now the other thing about this one is it also has this this little bit here i call it the toilet roll but you shouldn't call it a toilet roll. it's a little support system right so it slides just slides on you don't have to have it on if you don't want to but literally what claire was saying is some people oh i'm gonna i'll do it this way some people wanted to have their light source really really low down and even though the gooseneck on these is brilliant just the fact that there you go so if somebody wants it like that there we go switch on there right this supports this end here so that it does so the gooseneck look there you go oh there you go the gooseneck just stays up because it's being supported by that okay that's the one in black oh hang on and it also comes in white let me switch that off there you go. There's the one in white. You can have it at any angle you want. Is that one plugged? Oh yeah, that was plugged in as well. Have it on any angle you want. You can do what you want with the gooseneck and it just stays, look. It's what? More, oh, oh now are we? Because on the day we launched these, they were uh, even Stevens, even Stevens, even Stevens. But we're now more limited on the white than we are on the black. And it, the clamp on it, let me just show you the clamp. This is really, because I've got this on my, my table upstairs, which used to be my dining room table. It's now my office table. Goes nice and wide, but there, there is silicon on the inside of here, so it's not going to mark. So whatever table you push it on, it's not going to mark. And the other thing I need to say is you expect that if you put it wide like that on a table, that as time goes by, it'll like kind of work its way to the edge and snap off. Doesn't do that. Mine's up next to my computer the whole time. It's got a USB stick at the other end, so you can put it on your sewing machine or in your computer or anything like that. And what Claire was saying is rather than using two sources of electricity, it's only using the one. Um, there's something like 50,000 hours of worth of light in this. So it's going to last you for years and years and years. And if there are any problems, it's got a two year warranty that you just let us know if there's any issues and we'll tell Claire. So it's £65.99 It's on split pay. Now it shouldn't be on split pay because it's not £99, is it? So it's on split pay at 32.99, two payments of 32.99. So uh, 1st of November, oh, what day is it? 3rd of November, 3rd of December, it's paid for by Christmas if you buy it as a Christmas present. Yep, useful Christmas present and it's attractive and you don't just have to have it in the office, you can have it wherever you want to have it. USB uh, a stick to, to um, plug it in with. 65.99. Right, shall I go to the 6.80 now very quickly then? Let me... Let me just move that out the way. Oh, there we go. Right, 680. Well, oh, nearly fell over the 570 then. This is the machine that I have. This is the machine that I have. Oh, actually, I did a stitching the other day. I'll just plug it in. There you go. Um, the other day, whoops. I had my variegated threads and I was showing you about these, right? So there, there are, um, in here there is a satin stitch. One of the buttons on this machine 
it has a satin stitch, right? So that's your normal size. This is three times the size and this is five times the size. So you can alter a satin stitch to fit whatever you're doing or to, create, to go into your design. That's just one of the things this does. This machine is fantastic. Look at all the stitches it does. Uh, you've got all your, your modes. You've also got your other uh, stitch plate. So if you so when Becky Alexander Frost used this the other day, she swapped the um, plate over to use the straight stitch. The machine knows that the straight, because we couldn't get it to work after she'd gone. And it was because we had, Cat was sorted out, because it had the straight stitch um, plate on it. It will, oh, and now straight stitch plate is if you're just gonna do uh, straight stitches like uh, patchwork or something like that, and you don't want the fabric to go down. You know, sometimes when you start off with a half square triangle or two squares, the fabric sometimes goes into the machine. Won't do that with your straight stitch on. You can only use it with those stitches though. They're the only stitches you can use it with, right? But here are all your other stitches you use your other needle plate with. Oh, have you? There's a picture of me so Oh, look at me, I look as rough as old boots. There's me actually sewing on it at home when I was doing my bead bag. Yeah, it was a bead bag. I showed you how to make the bead bags last week. This has a nine millimeter stitch width. So if you're buying accessories, if you've got a 570, you can't put any of the feet or the walking foot from the 570 onto the 680 because it's got a nine millimeter stitch width and everything. Um, all the stitches you've got there, but also the panel, don't be frightened by this panel here. Don't be thinking, oh no, that looks, it's all kind of swings and roundabouts, no whistles and whatever it's called. It's so easy to use. You just use your mode there. You can set whether you want to cut the thread and do a locking stitch after everyone. Stitch width, stitch length. Choose your number stitches there. This is where I was just showing you about the elongating of the um, satin stitches. You can do twin needling, you've got your settings. You can do your reverse on your um, stitches there. You can lock it. You've got your shortcut to your buttonhole, shortcut to your memory, everything like that going on. All the feet, all the feet that you use a lot of, live in the front here. So there's where all they come. It come I'll show you the list in a minute of everything it comes with. Um, it's got a, a needle threader. It's got a, a, the buttonhole to do the um, automatic buttonholes. You can drop the feed dog so you can do free motion embroidery. It's a fantastic machine like that. Shall we look at us? Oh, and also look at the price. £1,249. You can split pair of 255 times. You're getting a free ruler and a free cutting mat that will come directly from Elna. They'll come directly from Elna with your machine when they come. So you can give those to someone else a Christmas present if you want. Let's have a look at a couple of slides. This is all the feet that you get, look. So you get the standard foot, the rolled hem foot, the zipper foot, the satin stitch foot, the open toe sat stitch foot. Now, and they've all got a number on them because when you put the stitches into, you choose which stitch you want, the little letter comes up on the screen to tell you which foot you need to use. Uh, quarter inch seam, darning foot. Also with this machine, if you put in 06, the stitch number 06, that's your quarter inch seam. It automatically takes the stitch down to uh, 1.8 because it thinks you're gonna do piecing. Convertible free motion quilting kit, including closed toe, open toe, clear view. You've got your even feed, which is your walking foot. Automatic buttonhole foot with stabilizer. You've even got a, 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 a foot to sew on a button. Right, you've got a circular pivot pin, you've got a quilting guide bar, you've also got a guide bar for your even feed, you've got the two needle plates and then you get all those other goodies with it, uh, semi hard cover, foot controller, knee lifter, we never show the knee lifter, it's got a knee lifter as well. Uh, there's so much, there's so much this machine and it, it basically will uh, just sew for you, it's a fantastic, fantastic machine. Uh, it's got an extension table, nice big extension table, opaque extension table with the legs that um, uh, are um, got the fridge magnet thingy on the, no, not fridge magnet, fr fridge, drinks fridge thing. It's any fridge, you have to level it off, don't you, the bottom, you know what I mean? You've got gas in fridge, exactly, mustn't use it. Right, here we go, it's got 170 stitches. Oh, it's got uh, maximum stitch width nine, maximum stitch width five, 10 buttonholes, capital letters go up to nine, and numbers go up to nine millimeters. You've got 50 stitch combinations. It goes a thousand. Now, I think a thousand stitches a minute is quite fast, but because Rebecca Reed's got the 720, she was like, oh, it's a bit slow. Uh, variable needle positions, look at that. 91 needle positions. 
where if you want to move the needle across that like if you're doing a scant quarter inch or like if you're doing a if you're doing a uh, you say all st st as edge stitching or an under stitching and you want to as close to the seam as possible you can just move the needle across that way or the just by just by using the um stitch width and you just move the needle across that way or can move it across that way it is brilliant a fantastic facility that um it's just I, 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 as i say it's the machine i've got um I've not been paid by Elna to tell you about it because it's I chose to buy this machine. Oh yeah, look, brilliant. We haven't been able to find this for ages. This is your knee lift. Now, well, you get that out of the box. You think, what on earth is that? Because it's, the thing is, I've been sewing for what, 40 odd years, right? And the knee lift has never, ever changed on the machine. What it is, is you plug it in here, you put it in there, right? And what it does is it hangs down the side of your machine like that. And then you use your knee, you push your knee like that and it lifts the presser foot up. So if you're sewing something like this and then you think, oh, I need to lift the thing up to pivot. You haven't got to let go of anything to lift the presser foot up. You just push it with your knee, the presser foot lifts up, you do your pivoting, let your knee go and the foot goes down again. It's absolutely brilliant and it's never ever changed. Even with really, really, really expensive sewing machines, that's what your knee lift's gonna look like. And it's the funniest looking thing, isn't it? Right, Diane's got a question. Let's have a look then. What extra features does the 680 have over the 578 to make it worth almost double the price? Well, it's got twice as many things you can do. Like, I haven't got time to do it now, but okay, just go back to the slides again, right? So the needle positions, you've got 91 needle positions, you've got 15 on the 570, right? Um, you've got a bigger machine size, right? You've got, your, well, you've got your free arm, you've got a bigger table, you've got bigger sewing space. Hang on, uh, let's have a look. Well, the thing is, I, the, um, if you look at the, right, okay, there are 200 stitches on the uh, 570, aren't there? If you look at all the stitches you've got here, also you can go to a nine millimeter stitch width. So it's kind of, and it's a bigger, sturdier machine. It's the next one up. It's kind of, oh no, it's not this two up actually, because there's a 580 and then you've got the 680. It just, it's just, um, I don't know how to say it without being rude about the 570, but it's like the next one up, the next generation up sort of thing. It's like a car. It's like, a, like I've got a Nissan Duke, right? The one I've got now is a really basic one. One, right the one I had before this was the top of the range that so had heated seats and it had all that thing this has all that it does so much for you like just just exact every single stitch you put in let me let me just show you here right so if I choose a stitch right let's have a look at the stitch number if I choose a stitch like 80 so if I'm in mode one and I choose stitch 80 right that's that stitch I can alter this as many times as I like but I can also elongate it once, twice, three times, four times, or even five times. I've got a I've got the uh, twin needle setting in there. I've got all of these shortcuts. I've got a lock that I can lock it up. I've got the kind of go back to the beginning. I've got everything. I've got a setting where I can um, do it, make it do a locking stitch and cut the thread at the end of each line of stitching and things like that. So basically, it's the same family. It's the same make and it's the same thing, but it's the next, you know, it's two up. It's two up from the 578. And it's a bigger machine. You wouldn't be taking this one to classes or anything like that i bought this machine last week fantastic price and extras it's a considered purchase but you will not regret it great deal from judy in somerset there you go now she bought it last week she got it already joe carter's got this right she still hasn't used all the stitches on it she's still finding new things to use on it so it's it's just a bigger sturdier more advanced machine than the 570. So it's literally, yeah, it's a different way you are in your sewing journey, basically. They always say, buy a sewing machine that you're gonna grow into. I haven't grown into this one yet. You know what I mean? All the machines I've had in the past have been like the 570. Well, no, I'll tell a lie, because my Bernina didn't have an alphabet on it. But you know what I mean? I've now grown up to this one, and I still haven't grown out of it at all, because there's so much you can do on it. Whether you're quilting, piecing, bag making, dress making, anything like that, you can do it. What's the matter, Han? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a five. Uh, H Hannah's got the earlier five seventy, right? She said this would be the next stage where she would go to. She's almost outgrown that one sort of thing, so she'd be ready to move on to this one. However, Charlie, who's only just started his sewing journey, let me also let me just tell you this, right? So, I'm saying, oh, it's the next one on in your journey, right? 
I was teaching uh, a friend of mine's daughter. She just did her O-level needlework and she came round and I was giving her some lessons and everything. She looked at this and she went, oh, that's too, too complicated, too complicated. Within minutes, she was like, oh yeah, and she's pressing buttons and she was whizzing off with it. Charlie, who hasn't even, he's got a little old sewing machine from his family sort of thing. He was at my house when I was on holiday. He uses, he can just sit down and use this machine. So it's not one to be frightened of, but it's got more on offer with it, that's all. And what, Han? I bought my 680 on John's recommendation, and best thing I ever did. I learned something new every time I used it. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Sharon. That's, I mean, not say thank you, but thank you. I, I'm glad I've been, I've been of some help. But isn't it any, it's easy to use, but it does so much. Uh, no, you're not, Charlie. Charlie says he's ready for the 780 now. Fine, Charlie. Oh, Charlie, we've got one in the other room you can have. Have me, cat. This is 1,000 joint. Look, I've got to go. Is there anything else I need to tell you about this hour before I do the menus? Oh, I've got to tell you about this, Starch Savvy. Because it's back in stock, it's back in stock, it's back in stock. Uh, loads of you come in to get it. Now, we've only had it on this channel once before. We used to have it on Sewing Quarter. We've only had it on Sewing Street once. There's only 20 left now. There's, oh, and it takes forever to get it from America. There's only 20 left now, and that's at five to one on Thursday, 20 left. Right, should we do tomorrow's menu? It's not me tomorrow, I'm not in now till Sunday. I'm not back in now till Sunday. So, uh, you've got Fabulous Fabrics at eight o'clock. You've got nine o'clock, you get Helen Newton's Mr. Known with Emily Roberts. At 10 o'clock, we've got Homeware Kits You Will Love. And then at 11 o'clock, we've got Weekend Bag with Emily Roberts. And then at 12 o'clock, We've got Christmas makes. These are the gnomes. These are the gnomes you're gonna be doing tomorrow. I reckon, is that a panel? Oh no, it can't be because it's got fur on it. Okay, it's a panel, but you get fur separately with it. Faux fur, obviously, faux fur. Gorgeous. Helen Newton patterns tomorrow with Emily. And what's her bag like then? What's the bag she making? With a weekend back, it's simple. It's all right, don't worry, cat, cats wasn't hurt when I tripped over. Uh, have we got hobby makers menu? They've got dynamite deals, paper dynamics, something from Australia, but UK. What was the beginning bit? Heart, parched craft, parched, that parched. Then paper dynamite deals and paper dynamics again. Brilliant. Right, have we done? Oh no, I've still got a few minutes. Oh, what are we gonna do? Folded star. Hannah's got on one about this today. She's worried because there's way too many people got it in their baskets. There you go. Right, so how many have we got left? Oh, okay, once you've all checked out, I haven't got any. But there are 30 not checked out. And that, there it is made up. And there's Charlie's close-ups from this morning. Oh, only saying, he's only showing one of them now. And that one as well. Collector and Kent, please can you tell me if all the Eleanor Walkie fit, fit? No, no, they do not, right? So the, uh, the, the Eleanor machines come in categories, right? Um, so you need to buy the feet and the walking feet that go with your category. So if you've got a 570, uh, which is a what? It's B stroke C, right? And then mine is a D, right? Because if you think about it, that machine only has a seven millimeter stitch width. This one has a nine millimeter stitch width. So if you put the walking foot from that onto the walking foot onto the, this machine and you try to do a nine millimeter stitch width, it, would not, it doesn't align. So you have to buy. And if you want to know the category, it says it when you buy the machine or look at the machine on the website, it tells you what category it is. You always have to buy the, so you can't put the zipper foot from the 570 onto the 680. You can put the, anything from the 550, 560, 570, they can all be swapped around, but you can't go to the next category like you can't use some things on this on the 780. Do you know what I mean? You have to have the one that's in the category that it's in. So please, please, please don't be swapping your walking fit around around machines. Good question though. 
Hannah was going to ask something else then. Oh, Advent calendar! Today. Hi, John. We're at the, we were at the NEC today. My mum saw So Girl. She was so excited. Do you know where your stand is? No idea, Donna, I'm afraid. But it's called, it's not called Sewing Street. It's called Gemporia Crafts. I think it's, oh, no, I can't, I can't remember. Right, 39.99 for your advent calendar. You're going to be opening these very, very, very shortly. From the 1st of December, obviously. Everything is sewing related. Everything, it's a treat every morning that costs you £1.61 a day. You'd pay more than that on your coffee, wouldn't you? Anna definitely would, because she has to have a cake and a sandwich and a panini and the chocolate bar. Anyway, at 39.99. I've got to go, got to go. I'll see you on Sunday. I'm on with Adele on Sunday. Is that you, Hannah? No, it's with Ben then. Um, I'll see you on Sunday. Have a lovely couple of days. Oh, no, and don't forget, if you're at the NEC, come and see me on Saturday because I'm on the stall on Saturday. No hugging, no kissing. They're a pound each. But I'm going to go. Take care of yourselves. Thanks for your company today. Make sure you check out, especially on that knitted star. No, folded star. No, it's because I did. All... Yesterday was the knitting, wasn't it? Take care. Bye-bye. See you Sunday.